Roger, my buddy, you always look nice. Every Thank day you. of your life. Thank you, Vera. Coming up next on the Japan Time Podcast. <laughs> All right, everybody, what is going on? Rogers Base here, and welcome to the Japan Time Podcast for September 25th, 2023. I am your host, and of course, joining me is my awesome co-host, the person whose channel you're watching this on, the one, the only, the legendary, the one that doesn't have audio issues, Kofu. What's going on, Shofu? Uh, what the fuck is this, bro? What the <laughs> fuck is this, this bro? Is, this I not, also got it. I'm, this I'm also my very curious choice, what's going list, on with this. This isn't my music of choice. Hey, guys. I'm here with the new Sony Vegas 13 piracy video. Uh, <laughs> first thing you want to... <laughs> 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 so the band you just heard talking real quickly was uh, guest starring, guest starring again on the episode after a long, uh, a long little hiatus. We have, of course, Zeph of the former Triforce of Awesome. Welcome back, Zeph. Happy Lovely birthday! To have you. Happy birthday! Happy birthday to Tito! Happy Boom birthday, Zeph! Happy 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 birthday, Zeph! It's also Tito's birthday. Happy birthday, Tito. Hey, cool. Happy birthday, Tito. Happy birthday, Tito. That's my second favorite else. commentator you know right there. So you got 70K now. Twitch, right. Hey, why are y'all pocket watching? What are y'all doing? I don't know. I just, you got, you won <laughs> 70K. And you're not... Back, back your broke ass up. Mm. I'm not familiar with pocket watching. Could you please explain <laughs> that playing to me? Well, I basically, I right? I got a bag over here and you looking at my money. Where's yours at? Don't worry, about, don't worry about how much money I got. Like, why are you watching my pocket flick? You know what I'm right. saying? Mm -hmm. right. right. This dude puts his money in banks. Oh, the stock market and banks and real estate. You don't put your money under the mattress? I know Ricky And then you ask why you're Adam Sandler. Not. Under the mattress? What are you talking so about? You don't know about that life, bro. Yeah, no, I do know about that life. I just am not part of that life. I do not oh, oh, so you uh, know partake about in that life. Oh, so but know I know about, about it. Ricky Cocaine, bro. You're not, you're not telling about the, the money under the mattress? Rick that's where Ricky's money is, period. I mean, that's, that's where, where it would be if he had any with his fucking broke ass. You but he don't have that fuck. You can't let me have a single fucking thing. Uh, this is how you know you are one of my biggest haters, bro. Uh... I think we're gonna have a good night today, though. I think yeah. so too. I know Fidel's having a good night with that 80-20 split on Twitch. What's up, Fidel? How are you, buddy? Actually, wild to think. Actually, got no damn 80-20. I got 70-30. I got I got the 70-30. They ain't got enough money for all yes. that 80-20 split. They know I I got it. What do you mean? I literally got it. No, 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 no. no, no. I said they don't <laughs> have He's talking about the 80-20. Oh, the 80 20. No, yeah, no. Well, Shofu has the 80-20. More than Shofu like, got the 80-20. Five people got the 80-20. Bro, got 80, bro. You got 90, 10? But That's had, crazy. But I've had 70, 30 for a very long time. So what I'll, the I'll, fuck, I'll, man? I got 40, 60. <laughs> Wait, who's getting 40? Hey, hey, they they, 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 <laughs> they robbing you? <laughs> That's why they let you win Twitch Rivals. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's why Reparation. <laughs> yeah. Reparation. Speaking of people who are 40 years old, we have Coast. What's up, Coast? How what are you, buddy? Holy uh, let's shit. Just, let's just say Nintendo fans are insane today. All right? Uh oh, I don't God. know what that means, but I hopefully that means Sonic fans aren't safe either. Sonic fans like no, the no, 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 we're the best. Oh, the chilling, you know, usual stuff. Well, I'm not chilling. Had some teeth pulled, but uh, besides that, chilling. You don't need them. Someone who's always chilling, of course, is Mike. What's going on, Mike? Hey, what's up? I'm back here, just chilling in the back room. Let's go. He's back there. No problem. He's That's there. fine. He's back there. Oh, really? Someone else is actually back there too. We have a full house tonight. We got War Champ as well. War Hello. Champ, well. 
I can't be uh, Damn, outdone by, by you, Ricky. This, this, this dude's sleeping on the <laughs> with his crusty ass mic. Like, he's fucking competing with Roger right now. He's on a goddamn phone. You said that you hey, were still cutting driving. Out too, There's bro. no reason for you to be here right now, bro. Anyways. What do you, what do you mean? Anyways. All right. He might be driving, but at mm. least he's actually on the show. Just like Damn. someone who's always on the show every single week. The favorite of everyone. He's the best. He's always consistent. That's Vera. What's up, Vera? That is my goal. That's a, that's actually not true. I'm definitely there. There are some shows where I'm just in bed. Yeah, but, but you can you blame me? Bro, it's it is here. almost two a.m. here. I was gonna say However, you're in bed, maybe, but at least you're here. Here you're, you're never missing out. You're great. No one on this. But show at the is, very least, you know, I'm cast at three a.m. I'm Sorry. I'm very happy that we have a have a full full house today. It feels like I, it's been forever since we've had literally everyone. I think the thing is, we just have so much to talk about. We've got the Nintendo Direct. We no, got the State wait, of Play. What, we got the Final Fantasy. Wow. No, we don't. We have a full house and then some. No. That we do. I, I know. I'm making up. Wait, hold on. I'm going through a whole little thing right now. You're messing up my bit on the trust, intro. I got to introduce the special so guest. This is why you're not the host. That's why Roger's the that's host. That's not why. Dude, I'm sitting mm. over here literally that's transitioning into a thing about Final Fantasy VII to introduce our guest, Kagurabachiing in the background. Miss Aru. What's up, Aru? Welcome. Yeah, and, and, and she fucked off. And she fucked it. off. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so hello. See, this hello, is why you should be everyone. Hi. Hi. Hello. What's <laughs> poppin'? Yo. You know what's crazy is we didn't even put down Kagurabachi on the list of things to talk about because we did. Everyone's yeah, talking about that. that. She's going to talk about it. She's going to talk about it. She's Actually, ready. Actually, let's start with Kagurabachi because I know you're all very familiar with this manga that's been taking yes. the world by storm. No. I don't even know what, what it is because I don't have anymore, so just, I just see a guy already. What is that? Uh, I think I was the only one who read it. It's always Ricky. I'm Not that I read it. I read it. <laughs> It's always Ricky. I read it, and that shit is not that great, bro. It's this kind piece, of mid. This piece of, of shit, Ricky, never has his mic working, but for some reason, all of his sound effects always work. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> this shit makes no fucking sense. Get your shit together. This is crazy. Oh Wait, but I actually want to know. What's it about? Um, it's about this dude that uh, his dad is uh, a weaponsmith, a blacksmith, um, and then something, some shit happens. And now Kagurabachi himself, the man wielding the katana, uh, is now set on revenge. Um, and it's just, a, it's a very basic revenge plot. And um, I'm going to be real. I don't know why it's hyped up like it is, but it's kind of funny. And it's also kind of Is it in Shonen Jump? It's in Jump. Uh, yeah, yeah there's, it is I guess there's two yeah, chapters. Because the reason it's right. getting hyped up is because everything they put in there is uh, shit they wipe with their ass first, and then they release it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that shit. That shit's, uh, right now. Not far from the Well, one, I'm talking about, like, now. One Piece is old. I guess that's, that's true. new, new stuff. I mean, uh, that is kind of true. The, the, the Jump stuff has not really been hitting lately. I don't see things with staying power anymore. Well, I mean, the thing is, is everything that's hype right now is ending very soon. One Piece is in the final arc. You've got Jujutsu no, Kaisen. That they they said they're years. ending. Well, no, I know. It's going to be five more years. But Jujutsu still. Kaisen was hype. That's crazy. Well, well I'm saying people Yo, like that it. That last Obviously, chapter sounds kind of funny, bro. I don't... Whoa, like, whoa, we're not going to spoil whoa, whoa. what happens. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not gonna say anyways, anything. anyways, anyways Kagurabachi's got like a whole ass movie. The manga finished yep. already. Yep. Uh, sure. It's got an Amazon New Prime show. Live action movies got uh, three books uh, already out on uh, store shelves. There you go. Uh, Oxus action fighting figure, game. Yep, yeah, it's got uh, fucking an anime. Um, I think he's in an episode of Family Guy too. I, I don't know. That's incredible. He's cooking, bro. He's him. You know, Wait, you're really? Yeah, they're in the kitchen right now. They're cooking. Yeah, but they're, they're cooking, man. And you know who else has been cooking Nintendo? There's been a lot of stuff coming down that. the pipeline in terms yes, of Nintendo. Yes, I don't know about really? that either. I don't know about yes, that either. I think, it's more no. like, I think it's more like they've been burning food, but... No, no, that's Cap, that's Cap, that's Cap, that's Cap, that's Cap, that's Cap, that's Okay, so I, I'm actually very interested in this situation because I feel like this discussion is going to be good because I'm normally the person who's hyped up, freaking out, loves the Nintendo Directs, and I also came out of this one feeling yeah. like this was pretty mid. And I no, saw people say, you're no, the wrong. one last September was worse, and they are so wrong. The no, one last you're wrong, year, bro. No, Christmas. you're I'm so gonna wrong. Keep it, I'm going to keep it 100% right now. The fact that mm -hmm. the fact that me and Roger both, I know we both like this game probably an equal amount. For sure. The fact that we both didn't start fucking like crying at Thousand Year Door being I, I did. Yeah. 
I did. I, here's the thing. I, did, I'm excited did I say about your door. Like, I'm, I'm right there with you. I am so excited to play that game again, but I feel like it is, and I know this is an odd thing because obviously it's mm. probably not coming out in the next six months. I just feel like it's so stupid that they're doing this right after Mario RPG. It, it, it's it's like, really weird. It's coming there's out, no like, reason to do the next, this. Because the next, skipping, like, what do you mean there's no reason? I can tell you why. I can 64. tell you why. Go ahead. They go could ahead. have held on to it. So this is why they're doing it. This is why they're doing it. There's two reasons. Number one, people mm -hmm. have been asking for a lot of GameCube ports. And yeah. Nintendo realized that with Thousand Year Door, they can make a lot of money from nostalgia baiting people and you know, sure. like childhood memories, blah, 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 that stuff. Because I really don't see any add-ons that they can do with that game that could justify a whole ass remake with additional content and stuff like that. I just don't get that. Um, I think another reason why they're doing a full ass remake like that is to alleviate. Wait, wait, wait. Are you are you saying the remake? You don't think the remake will have new content? Not not enough to justify an entire remake. So one thing that's weird about the remake is that we have spotted uh like there's, there's a, like there's a toad. NPC toad that was never in the original game, right? Uh, the karate one. So yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, it's safe to assume there's stuff like that. It's and uh, there's like. Well, like they could lead to a whole thing, uh, an, an entirely new NPC type being present is pretty big, especially in be, modern Mario games. That could also be an NPC that says, "Hey, you want to use different controls?" We don't know. And also on the topic of like the NPC the toad, toad. Stuff, those toads look like they could absolutely have been an Origami King. Like Origami King, at, at the very least, with just the toads, at least made different looking toad characters. So like to me, I'm not super excited. Like, oh, I get to play this again with new toads. Again, like the original Thousand Year Door. Is really good. I'm excited that this game is getting released. But well, there's, I, there's I, more I, interesting yeah, yeah. Like I wanna, I wanna say, I'm not not excited for this. I, no, the reason I didn't get hyped from the, the director is because uh, the timing of the announcement was weird. But it was weird the, coming right yeah. after RPG. It was weird in a direct yeah. filled with other Mario. The, 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 filled. I've with been Mario's. going on like deep dives of the, the Thousand Year Door remake. There's a whole bunch of shit, even like tiny shit. So in like Paper Mario 64. If you walked away from the camera, you could see Mario's back. In Thousand Year Door, if you walk away from the camera, Mario's always facing the camera. They gave Mario and everyone else in the game back sprites. Uh, all the party members now have additional like emote sprites when they get scared or something instead of just yes, like uh, an exclamation mark. Yeah. Um, in certain cutscenes, your whole party is there instead of just with the partner following you. Oh. Uh, there's and like there's a you can check the title log anytime in battle. Uh. There's there's a lot, but I, I think I think this remake is more than people are expecting, especially like because it looks like it's a, a I almost want to say it's a higher fidelity remake than Mario RPG remake, and that is getting additional post game content. So I don't see why this wouldn't. This yeah, I game mean, looks fire. Are you kidding me? I'm no so one, happy. No, 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 I don't think it justifies I, Fidel ripping his shirt in half. Oh, right? absolutely. Like, I enjoyed this game with my life. I did, I did, I did, I did. I did, I did. I did, I did. There's proof. There's video proof. I did. I think a game that already exists. Bro, I love this game. It's like my fucking, it's like one of my favorite games ever, bro. Let me ask you this, Fidel. Name one character in the game. I love this is your favorite character in the game. What? I'm curious. I am uh, curious because yes, I, I want to yes. ask you this because I feel like there's a lot of games that they could uh, announce a remake and I would be popping mm. off too. But I think the difference with this is that because mm. it was an announcement amidst a lot of Mario and a lot of yeah. other RPG stuff and we just got Mario RPG and the game itself, like obviously it looks really good. The fidelity of the artwork is very nice. It looks good. But when you look at the original game versus this new one, Aside from other RPGs or other remakes or other things that recently got announced or were remade, mm -hmm. something like a Mario RPG, the the initial like excitement, at least for me, wasn't there. It wasn't that it was a bad announcement. It wasn't that we're not excited for it. I just think like paired with the the other announcements that were in the direct, it didn't feel like the type right. of closure they would normally have. Which well, yeah, I think I know. think predominantly as a as a final announcement, it wasn't one right. that really kind of struck with me. I think if you were gonna have a final announcement that was like a Mario announcement, for me a big one would have been like a, a new 3D Mario game. That would have had me there personally you go. pop in. I think it's I, I think, think for for me it's more the fact that like it's returned to form, you know, and 
what it means because I really do think for me this means also yeah it sells a shit ton and then they they now understand the assignment that yeah people want Paper Mario to be back to this you know what I mean I hope like, you're right I mean I hope I that's what it is I just genuinely that, on this topic on specifically this thing literally I don't feel like this with any other Nintendo sub franchise but with Paper Mario specifically I hope to God you're right I hope they do that's, listen that's what I, I hope think it is I don't I don't no. I think they're going I, to not, with, not right after RPG. I think them. That's why I think the other reason why it's tempered in my head a little bit is I think if it meant for the Paper Mario series what you're sort of setting up for it, I'd be right there with you. I'd be like, good, return to form. They're remaking the one that universally a lot of people think is the best one, even though I like 64 better. It is what it is. But people are like, Thousand Year Door is the best this one. This is We're the one for it. sure. And then yeah, exactly. It's the one people are most hyped for. And then they're going to start making more Paper Mario games like. So, so the reason. I highly disagree with that is because of the fact that the Super Mario RPG remake exists. Yes. I think Nintendo full heartedly knows what's going on with people wanting to play these games and they're only of like viable option. uh, If it's not on the NSO is to having the resort to getting it secondhand physically on eBay or Amazon and whatnot. And those prices are astronomically impossibly unjustifiable to purchase those yeah. games are like over 100 bucks over 200 bucks and nintendo realizes hey we can make money off of our customers by re-releasing these games and having them also save money by giving them this illusion that uh they don't have to go out and buy these games secondhand anymore if they I, don't own them anymore I, I, that, so like I, don't, I don't i don't think the thousand year door remake is a return to form i just think that it's just another re-release, and they're probably still going to be on their bullshit with. Can I, I mean, I don't I think, there's no I, way. I, I, I know Mike is still broken. I'm going to fix it in a sec. But I'm just jumping in to say they wouldn't put this much effort into a, exactly. Like they, they completely rebuilt it from the. Exactly. Yeah. No, I. That's right. There's dude. There's no way this comes out sells hello well. People very much clearly love this, and then they go back to whatever bullshit it is. Like to me, this is more like yeah, no, we are going back to what what paper mario is you know and the best way to do that first off is to show people why show everybody why people love the style in the first place and again gamecube one being the most popular so i think for me it's it's like that i mean same thing to be honest with like mario versus donkey kong right i know that wasn't like the most hype thing right but for me like i adored that game as a kid and to me that's what that's when mario versus donkey kong was fun when it was actually hey let's take the it concept like of the that. original sure. and yeah let's take the concept of the original and we make it into like an actual fun arcade puzzle game instead of doing the stupid bullshit like minis games that they dropped like five thousand of uh right. in that era you know like to me it's like this is always like we're doing this because obviously nostalgia helps but we also like hear you on like wanting something wanting something like different like wanting to go back to an actual gameplay style and revisiting something not most people can play you know you know what it feel i was watching it and i'm this might be me but i was watching all this shit about these remakes it literally said to me like my thought was Oh, Nintendo is basically saying that they are incapable of making a good game in 2023. That's what Mario, I viewed it as like, well. Like, 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 uh, like you're, no, but I'm saying that's what it comes off as. Uh, it comes off as we're all of our best games we've already made, so we can't make anything better than what we've already made. So we're just going to remake the things we've already made because they're already better than anything we can make right now. The fact now. that there's three know. separate that, Mario remakes in that direct just it's what like I, that's what it says I, to me. I, I, what I, what I, it says I don't feel like no. it's much more simple. You're, you're, you're I, reading what, into what, it a little bit. I feel like it's much more simple than that. They just trying to make some money real quick. I don't. Yeah, that's that's the other side of the issue. Make some money in what it's probably the Switch's Twilight years. Like right. Yeah. Anything that comes off as the cooking for the next console. I'm not I think the over reliance not... on the remakes, the re releases, the remasters, all this kind of stuff is definitely because, like, I think their last big game, like, actual new game, is Mario Wonder, right? Like, the yeah. Peach game is coming out and the Peach game looks kind of nice, but, like, in terms of a really big release, like a huge one, Wonder is kind of like the swan song for the Switch. And now yeah. that we're actually hearing stuff about Switch 2, and it seems very likely it's coming out, like, mid next year, I think they were just like, we need yeah. to, while we have this massive install base, release all these things that people were asking for, all these other re-releases. They already churned out Tears of the Kingdom this year. They're already doing Mario Wonder. They have the Mario, they have the Zelda, and they even have like the, the big Splatoon DLC for Splatoon fans. They've got the Pokemon DLC. So they're hitting all their major fronts with their new titles. 
But I think the easiest thing they can do, which, you know, I could see some people not liking this, but I think the easiest thing they could do is just go, you know what? We can remake all these things that people have wanted, do these remasters, do these ports, throw them on there. It's easy content. And then mm. there you go. You have stuff to actually play until want, the Switch I, 2 comes out. Yo, I am I still crackling yeah. like a motherfucker? No, you're yeah. better now. No, no, but you no, probably do it again because it, it No, no, no. I figured it out. I figured it out. Yeah. I figured out what the issue I want, was. I want to stress that's not what I like. When I say that's what it comes off as, I'm not saying that's what is actually happening. I'm saying no, I know. when you present yeah. all three remakes to me, it's saying, oh, like, that's, like, the message that somebody could take from that is... I, I think are, it's wild, though, because, like, like, in modern history, every Mario game has, like, has been better than the last, pretty much. Other than 2D. Mm -hmm. In 3D. 3D. Two, the th 3D Marios have been, like, one-upping themselves consistently. Like, I don't think their Nintendo feels restricted with Mario ever, considering Mario Wonder, especially. Technically, I, I think, say, but I, don't I, know I think, really I just think their new 3D title is just, it's probably really far out and they're like putting a lot of answer. effort into it it's going to be See, really I different I think, the next three, I think the, until the, until the yeah ready. yeah because at I the end of every I console's life we get mario, this remake yeah. next 3d mario is going to be the first year of switch 2 i mean that's, that's like that's where the next one's going to be it's weird oh. because we got three mario remakes in the in the direct and then we got like the the new peach game which is like a completely different side of the coin and i was like actually like really excited to see what happens with that game the Peach no, game that looks game looks good. Game looks fire. Game looks Does it have a name? Uh, Princess yeah. Peach Showtime is the name. Okay, of I'm still used yeah. to calling it Untitled Peach, Peach, Peach Game, bro. Peach Peach yeah. So the gimmick untitled is essentially Peach that Peach has this ribbon and can cosplay as different characters. Yeah, I saw like you could turn into like Mega Man Zero Peach and like there's like Sword Fighter Peach. Peach. There's Amelia Watson Peach. There's um, <laughs> the other one. You popped off. I was I was popping off for Amelia Watson Peach. That was awesome. Ice Spice. Ice Spice Peach. Huh? Ice Peach. Well, I didn't see that one. Chun Li yeah, Peach. Didn't see that Look, uh, yeah, the Chun Li Peach was fire looking. I like that one. So this has like uh, we have almost like no info on this besides that direct trailer, right? So it's just uh, well, mm, I mean, all we it's, know it's is Peach dresses up and what goes it around. Like. It feels like it feels to me My kind concern. of like I don't know if you guys ever played that game Puppeteer <laughs> that was on PlayStation. Oh, okay. It's like a platformer. Yeah, I didn't play that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. So it looks like that. You're literally yeah. on a stage and you're fighting things and doing some platforming and solving puzzles, like and it's 2D. Just reminds me a lot of that. It looks like yeah, Nintendo's yeah, yeah. on it, but with the game starring Peach. I mean, I'm fine with that. I think it looks good. Uh, uh, I thought yeah. this direct was complete shit. Other than those games, I'm gonna be Damn. real. Yeah. I mean, and that's it, wait. Okay. While you're on that, topic, it wasn't though, that bad. Uh huh. Okay. I was just, while we're on the topic, I I think overall it was also pretty mid as well, which is what I said there's at the end a, of the reaction. Of and then there were a lot of games I really liked. Like, by the oh, whoa, whoa. by the by the in, the it was too much Mario. That's really yes. what made it bad. Yes, and it was just too much. The other Mario. thing <laughs> that I think a lot of people, a lot of people after that direct were like, "Oh no, it wasn't bad because the September one last year was so terrible." Let me remind you. Because I think a lot of people are misremembering that September one from last year. Let me remind you what was in that September one last year. That September one last year had Octopath Traveler 2, had GoldenEye 007 coming to NSO, and the announcement of all those other N64 games coming to NSO, which, like, looking back on it, it was a pretty cool thing. Like, not a lot of people expected GoldenEye. That had all the future redeemed stuff, like all the stuff for Xenoblade Chronicles 3, which now that that game has come out, has essentially like redeemed the base game for me. Future Redeemed was excellent. That game that also had the full trailer breakdown for Pikmin 4 that actually ended up looking really good and different because everything we had seen up to that point looked kind of mid. And then oh, the no, other the they already no, just the no, the no, like, no, 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 no. That direct and gave me. Oh, go ahead. And they ended with the Zelda trailer. Like all of that was in that one versus but this that doesn't one. That, sound that, that, great that direct was good it though, was, but this I'm direct was that good. But I'm saying that it was not like it was way worse than the one this that we just This gave got. us potential game of the year F099 is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, that's that's game I is agree. Also with. Really? Really? The only other thing is very very 099 and that unicorn whatever the fuck it was Unicorn called. Overlord. Unicorn Overlord yeah. looks great. That is a Rogers based yeah. game right here in the lower game. The game looks fantastic. F-099 has blown me away with how high quality it is. Between, like, oh, yeah. the amount of downtime between games, like, I'm in a race instantly. Uh, it, it's fun. I'm going to be honest, that shit pissed me the fuck off, at least, for, like, the first two days because I was really bad and I was just constantly dying. But now that I got a hang of it, <laughs> it's really that was fun. Me. It's really fun. Yeah, me too. It uh, is really, really how good. Many, 
how many hours have you guys lost of your life? Probably have like eight sleep? hours in it. Yeah, I, I just turn it on every so often. Good amount of hours. Eight hours. Is yeah. But I uh, play it pretty much consistently like, uh, every day. There's been like a data mine, and it looks like Nintendo is going to be dumping resources into this for a good while. Uh, besides the stuff that we saw in the direct, like uh, in the direct, they're playing on tracks we don't have yet. There are achievements in the game that we can't get yet. Uh, and the, the data mine has like new modes and tracks and cars and stuff. The one big thing about it too that I think is really good beyond like the multiplayer, like you said, being so snappy, is I feel like the gameplay addiction loop is also really good in it. I feel like I'm oh always under a lot. Yeah. Bro, it's so hard to not do one more. <laughs> you end the race, I'm like, really? Mini yeah. pre, mm, yummy. Exactly. Yeah, it'll be like <laughs> it'll be a mini pre, then they'll have Ooh. the pro course, Ooh, then they'll battle. switch to okay. a full grand pre. Then you'll unlock a, a, a little decal or something. Then you'll unlock Bro, a the new, decals like, and the item. skins for the cars are so good. They're so good. And I think the other thing, too, is I do hope they take what they've developed here for F-099 and, like, keep a lot of this for future F-0 games. Because, one, yeah. I've seen way more people talking about and playing F-099 than literally any other F-0 game ever. Like, F-Zero-GX was great, and I think there's a lot of people that have nostalgia for it, but, like, people were not talking about GX. Oh, yeah. that's what I want to talk about, uh, about 99. Um, if you aren't playing this because you're, like, spiteful, the fact that there's no GX, they added GX mechanics to yes. this game. You can yes. spin. They added a brake button. Uh, I'm pretty sure they've tweaked controls, like, just slightly. It, it feels like modern F-Zero, just with older yeah. graphics. Boost, boost draining your health was also not a thing in SNES. Yep. Nope. Yep. Yep. And that's a huge that's... part of like the 3D F zeros. The fucking and the big slide thing about burns yeah. piss me off, man. I, I guess it's more, more like X, but the X. There is it, a break. If you press, if you yeah. if you press Y and X, Y or X, it breaks. I don't know. I don't know why I'm being called a liar, but dude, <laughs> it's it's the one thing in the tutorial they don't tell you. They don't yeah. tell you about the break button. No, they but don't it walk is a thing. through it. It it's is the only but, thing that they don't tell you. It's stupid, but it, it's there. There's a few things actually. Uh, driving over dead players slows you down. Uh, yep. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, there is some. Well, I mean, like control stuff. Wise. I learned. Oh yeah, when you go off a ramp, uh, when you land, you have to hold down or you go slower. They tell you that, that was in, in some one of the older ones, wasn't it? They tell yeah, you but I, I just forgot. Yeah. They don't tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that yeah, one's yeah, in yeah. one of the tips. The brake button is in one of the tips. Like, there's a lot of stuff about the game that they just don't actually tell you up front. Also, I think something that uh, I think people are talking about it, but if they're not, I'll just let you know, is I think in terms of the other courses that are going to be in this, because most of the ones that were already in base <gasps> SNES of zero are in this. But it sounds like the Satellaview courses that would be that so are from the, uh, the, the whatever it's like, zero. Yeah, the BS Satellaview or whatever. <laughs> it seems like those courses are going to be in this, yeah. which is great. And I think because I mean, they could yeah, literally just port I feel them. like. Because a lot of people are playing this, and because universally everyone's like, "Yeah, this game is really good," I could definitely see them doing more collab events with F Zero Ninety Nine, kind of like similar to what they did with Tetris, where they could maybe yeah. do like the That'd details sick, of other new upcoming games. Imagine they, they release a Kirby like, like F Zero machine for a Kirby game. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, I would love that. I just, I just hope this has a decently long lifespan compared. It to the will. Other the game. reason that Pac Man yeah. died was because Tetris was still out. I That's also true. I think I think uh, the reason Pac-Man dies, it didn't have a lot of depth to it, which F-Zero absolutely, absolutely does. Yeah. 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 But I think they, they, also, they also didn't uh, give a shit about it, and they didn't update it at all. They're like master yeah. plan, I think, for this, is releasing this for free, like such a high-quality title, puts F-Zero back into the conversation. Yes. I, dude, I'm, like, just to talk about this game, I fucking love this game. Like, I played it's it so maybe... It's so fun. It's fun as fun. I the only thing like, that I'd like, yeah. I understand... That it would be exploitable to like limit it. Let me queue up with like one other yeah. person at least. Yeah. Uh, not not like least... four people, but like one person is like at least. I wish I, I could make friend lobbies reasonable. that are just unranked. I don't understand why I can't just make a lobby code with friends. That that's yeah. Reason. Tetris, is Tetris and Pac Man both had passwords. Yeah. Especially, especially for like streaming. It's like you think that would be like. seem to rely a lot on updates. Don't you yeah, guys think like, they're gonna? Yeah, I was gonna say. I feel like they're gonna add that as an update. Oh, people have already data thing. mod. People have already data mined like arcade mode and like survival mode. Like, well, there you go. Mode. There's okay, definitely right. Ooh, survival yeah. mode. Yeah, there's there's like a awesome. death race or some shit. Oh man, well, that's awesome. I love that. Yeah, but genuinely, like the gameplay is like super fun. Like I, I was playing it a shit ton. It's it it is the most like. Let me try one more time. Let me try one more time. And like oh, I think what I adore okay, about wait. it is it's like yeah. yeah. 
go, no, no, keep no, no, going. No. I just I got gonna, excited because I, I remembered something. Yeah, I was going to say, like, it has so much of that one more race factor. And also, like, you, it's so skill-based that I, I love that so much. Like, it's like... Legit. You have to like you have to manage your boost, which is also like your health, and then you have to try to kill opponents so that you can get more boost. And you can't spam the spin; you only have one spin. You have to build up the spin. You have to choose. Maybe you don't want to be so much in front, so you can get more of those little like super um, like things that get you that meter that go on like oh, a balance. rainbow skyway. And you need to use the rainbow skyway on curves so you can skip those curves. So like there is optimal and places you, yeah, to use that sure. yeah because if you if you use the boost the the super boost in like certain spots it lasts longer and i think yeah. the further back you are in the pack the longer it lasts too. Yeah. so if you're like yeah. in first it doesn't go but um i i just wanted to refresh my memory on what it was so i wasn't wrong uh death race is a mode from f-zero x where you win basically by killing everyone else the race keeps going until the last man standing yeah that Ooh, makes sense so that sounds like a really good mode for now. Actual F099. Yeah. That like actual Wait, battle royale. Which one is the best car? Uh, right now, a lot of people like the gold fox. Use. I just like the blue falcon. People are using like the top level is uh, fire stingray, I think, because it reaches the top speed, uh, mm. the highest top speed. But also people like uh, wild goose because it's so durable. But yeah, like you said, golden fox is amazing because mm. of its healing. Uh, Blue Falcon is probably the only like whatever one. It does seem like a whatever one. It's because it, it, it breaks pretty easy. It, it's not. Yeah, it's just yeah. Yeah. But it's not. Overall, it's still, like, it's not I, a bad I, machine. I it. It's still not a bad machine. Uh, it's just I don't think it's as good as the other ones because it. The only thing have I have a, cosmetics unlocked for, so I'm just fucking insistent on using it. I it's saw one a goddamn uh, match in that goddamn game, bro. It's but I like using dependent. the durable cars, personally. I feel like in a Grand Prix, it's pretty balanced just because of the track variety. Definitely. Yeah. I like Mini Prix more than Grand Prix, bro. Grand Prix give me anxiety. <laughs> you die immediately in the first race, and you're like, what the heck? I waited the whole time. For this <laughs> run, man. Yeah. I, I really, I think Has it's great. Uh, first Also, uh, I forgot. You just I reminded have, me about the yeah, but killing people. I have a normal race, not a Grand Prix. Uh, one of the reasons Fire Stingray is so strong is that um, if it kill like if in F zero ninety nine, if you kill someone, you get a full heal plus your max HP goes up. So that motherfucker is going as fast as he can and just uh, pretty has decent durability, uh, and it's gonna probably out damage most cars because it can, uh, I, like I said, hit the highest top speed with its boost. So um, it just spams boost, kills someone, gets fully healed. And keeps going. Basically, is the the thing with Fire Stingray. I think it's. What a quick uh, thing I, I really want to cool. know. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, Virum. I think it's really cool between both this and Metroid Prime Remastered that Nintendo's kind of doing this thing with a couple of their games, where they're just kind of sliding them out. Like they've they've clearly been working on this for a while, and they've clearly got plans for the future for this game. But they just slid it out very kind of casually after the director was like, "Yeah, this game's out now." And it just turned out amazing, and I think that's a I think that's a very cool approach to um, like developing and marketing games. And I mean, the the couple of times that we've seen it, it's worked really now, well. Now, don't don't tell me like don't reply to this with with your your what you want to see. I want to know like is there another series that Nintendo has? That would work as well as F Zero in a ninety nine format. Someone like, in my chat right <laughs> now just said uh, Warrior Star Fox. WarioWare would be hilarious, actually. I mean, does it have to be Nintendo owned? Um, no, because like not they did necessarily. Pac-Man and stuff. Yeah, they did Pac-Man and Tetris. No, I think like an obvious one that I think would do really well, and I know it would do really well because I tried it before. Would be uh, Bomberman '99. Oh sure. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, that's a good one. One, the one I think is also pretty obvious is Mario Kart. I think them doing like Mario Kart '99 with sounds- the battle mode. <laughs> That would be oh, totally. so that much. Yeah. Could, you <laughs> could you imagine? Could you imagine? Because we're on Super 8, Smash Bros. Del- we're, on, we're on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. <laughs> Smash Bros. 7. <laughs> right, right. Could you, you imagine? Super they, Smash Bros. is mine. Could you, you imagine need, they do. You need help. Medical instead, of, uh, instead of Mario Kart 9, they do Mario Kart 9 9. The, oh, I would be so mad. Oh, so if they ended up doing like I, I think no, if we get an actual Mario Kart that's really only mad. like that only does like you know the normal races like up to twelve, but just also has like a, a 
a battle royale ninety nine mode. As I mean, well. that would be cool then if if they yeah. if Balloon they added full on Mario Kart game and then also added that as a special mode, then I think it'd be okay. But oh, so otherwise, about, I think wait, they've I been think, waiting too long for the next Mario Kart for them to just be like, oh, here's a ninety nine. I know Roger is going to agree with me specifically for this one. I think okay. it would be pretty fun if they mashed up every Game & Watch Gallery game, picked a handful of them uh-huh. at random, and you got to play with 99 other people. Yeah, that'd, get be, knocked that'd, that'd be that super sort of fun. Yeah, I'd love yeah. that. I would absolutely love that. It would bring, be a good way to bring, bring back that back. Game & Watch, absolutely. All right, yeah. it's, t- it's time, boys. Random Battles 99. It's time. Where's the showdown mode? Where's the showdown <laughs> well, be, mode? Bro, Pokemon 99? Pokemon? Pokemon 99, bro. <laughs> what Everyone is he? Is it? Everyone's nuzlocking. What? Yeah, what? every everybody's just an arena. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just actually it would have to be like it's like, like one twenty eight. I mean, the other the other one that I would genuinely really want that I think would be amazing if they drop you in a city and then you're all doing this is I mean literally precursor to Fortnite, dude. Kirby Air Ride City Trial. If you do City nah, Trial with ninety nine yeah. people Ooh. all flying around a massive like city Fortnite style, bro. Like, yeah, would be that incredible. Shit. It would be impossible, I feel like, to actually. They have to make it bigger. Do anything to your saying. car. If you make it, could, it like though. the map, you make it like the map oh, size of like really Fortnite, good idea. and then you're riding around on warp things. You're you're adding things to yeah, your warp power ups and like yeah, yeah easily. Yeah. They could, it would be amazing. Yeah. If you have like a death circle too, like it, it yeah. That would I be still super think cool. it's really funny that you could pick <laughs> like uh, you could pick Fuck. Meta Knight or DDD, but if you die, <laughs> you're just done with the. You can't like Kirby can keep playing. But they're yeah. done. That is pretty My funny. Are you trying to t- tell me? Yeah. Oh no! Do you remember that like one custom game from Halo where it's like a big map, everyone's one v oneing, but if you win your one v one, you get to like snipe the other one v one. Yeah. They should do that with like, about, Smash yeah. or Metroid or something. I was thinking that as like, a I couldn't think of a good way to work in Metroid, but it, like I feel like having not ninety nine, but like a few players. Uh, and they're like, okay, you got to get these items. And then you just go and you get the items they tell you to get. And whoever gets there first is – that was what I was thinking. But your idea is better. I mean, you just mentioned Smash Brothers too. And I know I heard Shofu say it earlier. I feel like they, they could kind of do Smash Run as well if they wanted to. Bro, I don't even like, remember. Like the way just, Smash I was run. just thinking that. Yeah. Just I thinking. Know. But yeah, this F-Zero I game think- – I, I thought so with Tetris, kind of. But this F-Zero game has shown me that the, the 99 series is money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, they're good. Are there things to buy? Is it Nintendo? Game? Isn't Nintendo owned? Ninety nine? The, the yes. Yeah, so yes, Tetris ninety nine and Fantasy it is all Nintendo stuff, just not Nintendo IPs. Yes. yes. Okay, so they could theoretically get anything then. Okay, okay. Yeah, they could do whatever they want. Yeah, of course, because the games are published by Nintendo still. I, I think the only thing was the Pac-Man. They allowed to do the ninety nine thing uh, as part of Switch Online, but Switch Online obviously is Nintendo. So I like, as soon as Nintendo was like, we don't want to do this anymore, they just didn't do it anymore. They shut it okay. down. A company called Akira did all the 99s before F Zero. F Zero was done internally. There you go. Oh, so they actually did an internal. Okay. And actually, the team that did it do... internally was the team that's here in North America. So that's NST. They're the ones that do. Uh, well, they did a lot of the Mario Donkey Kong games before. NST. Well, because well, F Zero so 99. Worked, right. They okay, wait, the I think we're going to talk about Mario and DK here is, for a sec. The but same I team that worked on Excite Bike 64. Same nice team that worked 99. on uh, Wave Race 64, <laughs> Wave Race Storm. Bro, I would go crazy in those games. Let me, okay. So these, all these 99 games, but like, didn't Tetris get, Tetris got microtransactions, didn't it? Like a lot. Yeah, but a lot yeah. of the Tetris ones, they, they were like, Ninten- I mean, there's literally a, a Xenoblade event coming up. I think next week or something in Tetris 99. So how do you what yeah, do you think they'll like do for F Zero? Because with Tetris, it's way easier. You could just drop any game's MP3 file into I'll the game. I'll tell you. I'll tell you right now what they could do. What they could do, they can go look. There was this game this guy made up a couple of years ago called Star Fox Grand Prix. I think it'd be amazing. Oh you put my Star god! Fox. <laughs> <laughs> you put Star no. Fox. It's really, it's really fun. Star Fox because. Bro, and you put that you stuff a, in F zero ninety nine, bro, and they put like Star Fox things in F zero ninety nine. That would be fire. They're like Roger. I was literally about to say, every single time F zero comes up in conversation, it feels like Star Fox comes up too. Of course. Um, and I was gonna say, like, there's no way Star Fox I think could translate to ninety nine. Could it? Like, of course if, they could. You do instead of doing a little car, you just do the little like, like SNES R wing, and you have the R wing fly around and stuff, and you make it like some special oh event. 
Dude, of course they could do that. Yeah. I guess, yeah. Yeah. Also, kind of literally the did, end like, the of Star vehicles. Fox Command, the end of Star Fox Command, one of the endings of that game, is that Fox and Falco become drunks who then – And they like, become right. <laughs> the F-Zero Grand Prix. That's literally yeah, what it's – alternate yeah. world. Right. So it's the alternate world. That's what it is. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Wait. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even realize. Star Fox yeah, I mean, 99 Fox doesn't Falco have to be – literally enter the Grand Prix. Or they if call they it did, uh, If they Thank did a legitimate – G zero Star yeah. Fox ninety nine game. They wouldn't have to make it in like a race format. They could literally just drop ninety nine R wings into a, an arena and make you dog. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you mean for like a separate Star Fox? Oh, yeah, no, yeah. I'm saying. I'm saying you were asking. No, about I know what you're saying. I was just bringing F-Zero. it up separate. Oh yeah, yeah. I was like yeah. F zero. You could do tons. They could. Like I said, we brought up Mario Kart earlier, but I feel like Mario Kart you could probably implement in like a, a fun special event or something. You could take the SNES Mario Kart sprites. And just throw them in the F zero ninety nine engine. That would actually over, be kind of soulful. That would be though. super fire. Yeah. yeah. You have a mode where you throw the Mario Kart things in there. They don't even like, clash cool. that badly. Yeah. Yeah. That's, seeing Mario drive that fast would not make me lose my mind, though. No, but it'd still be fun, and people would definitely still buy it. You have people like Fidel over here, creaming oh, over yeah, no, wait, Mario. Right yeah, Techno's right. They would totally buy it. Imagine yes, Mario sir. just fucking exploding. They don't want that. He wouldn't explode. No, 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 no. All he would do, he'd spin out, and then the Lakitu would pick him up, and he would go oh, off yeah, screen. Okay. Oh, but, <laughs> yo, explode. The cart might explode, but the little the sprite would be picked up by Lakitu. He wouldn't. The fucking they Yoshi wouldn't have dies. Mario literally explode. No, 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 no. no. Uh, while we're still on the topic, though, there were other things in this direct I want to go over kind of quickly because we do have a lot to go over on this show. Poor Aro is probably sitting on the side waiting to talk about Final Fantasy. We've been talking about F Zero <laughs> for fifteen minutes, but. Other quick things to mention. They announced that the construction for the Nintendo Museum is going to be that, complete uh, I was in March. Also pretty cool. Very cool. So much money. That's cool, but don't don't put it in a direct because I don't live there and I'm not going to Japan to see it. So it's cool. <laughs> they just wanted We're to gonna be excited really to see the stuff. People are gonna they could yeah, keep it, they could keep it in the Japan level. direct. I don't it's okay. Okay. We got uh, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, yes. the worst Luigi's Mansion game, getting a re-release. Also, yes, I think sir. it's funny that they're rebranding it as Dark... <laughs> instead of being that Dark so Moon, weird. it's going to be 2. Well, I'll tell you why wait, they're doing that, Luigi's clearly. Mansion Dark- wait, 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 wait. Well, this is the first time here. they're changing the name? Yes. On the so, yes. Luigi's, Luigi's Mansion Dark, Dark Moon, Moon was what Luigi's it was Mansion called on the 2. 3DS. And then they're so like... it's an official trilogy now. Right. And so now yeah, they're... Okay. Well, it was called Luigi's Mansion 2 in other territories. They called oh. it Luigi's Mansion 2. But they never called it that here. So I think it's just an easy way to get extra yeah. sales and trick kids. They don't want to be like, confuse hey, I, people. I played Dark Moon as a kid, but I never played the second game. And then they buy it and they go, what's this? It's the same okay. game. The yeah, game I was turned that game off on the 3DS <laughs> when uh, I got to the spider. <laughs> yeah, so I thought it was the opposite. I thought it would be that, like, they don't want to confuse Switch people in thinking it's yeah. a third new game. And they they're just like, oh, it. it's the second game. Mm, I'm not so. sure. Because it was never called. I think it would have been different oh. if it was called 2 already here. <laughs> But they, they called it Dark Moon. I don't know. It just seems strange. Um, we already talked about Unicorn Overlord a little bit. That game looks fantastic. The new VanillaWare game. Uh, Mario they Kart. Had the wave, yep, Mario Kart Wave 6 with Pauline, Funky, Diddy, and Peachette getting added Very in cool there. that they did the why, fake why out. Why they add Peachette? <laughs> I don't know. But very cool they did the fake out because Great. the character select screen has shown that there's only two left. But... The fact they that they showed that the four bunch. characters yeah. is fire. I love that. I love that they did that little fake just, out. It was a sick final like roster too. Besides yeah. T-Chat. I don't. Yeah, I don't really I, know why that's yeah, there. I, I think it had to be Funky and Pauline. Like that was like For no sure. matter what within the DLC, yeah, there yeah. Funky and Pauline sure. were a must. So having that and Diddy, yeah, Peachat, Peachat, they were probably like, you know what? We have the assets. Just give her the crown and put some shit on her fit. That's it. I'm. I'm not I'm also. I'm personally not saying it's the best. But uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe p- post DLC, I think, has my favorite roster of characters. Oh, yeah, easily. I mean, it's yeah, well, like, now it's, now it's one of my favorite Mario characters, and it's fine, he's finally in. And Just Pauline's in, Funky Diddy. All, this time. Yeah, all, uh, all that DLC did for me, that, that trailer, all it did for me is wish that uh, Diddy Kong Racing was on NSO. I'm sure it'll come one day. Don't worry about it. We're, we're still waiting it'll for Mario Party 3, bro. We're still, we're still yep. waiting. That too. See, that's the other thing I was thinking One about. One year, bro. Because they didn't announce. Because Only they like a couple more them. months or some shit. And more NSO stuff. I think what's happening is, you know that announcement where they showed the pictures of the games coming to NSO? If you space out, because they always do the updates every month. And this month's was the, the Kirby Amazing Mirror one with like the online. 
I think if you look at the other games they've already said are coming that aren't already on the service, there's Golden Sun, F-Zero Maximum Velocity, Golden Sun The Lost Age, Harvest Moon 64, Mario Party 3, and um, oh, there, there is one other one. What was the other one? I, but I basically, really think that's it. Yeah, well, regardless, if you look at that and you think of the amount of months left with the updates that they're going to do and the other games they're going to throw on there, and you think about it, they could potentially sparse out all of those releases monthly and then smack dab, boom, Switch 2 comes out. It's like early summer. They could spread across all their releases. And then that announcement of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door at the end of the Direct, if that game ends up coming out like same week as Switch 2, I could definitely see people, especially if they end up doing like two versions of it. I'm assuming Switch 2 is backwards compatible. So I'm assuming if they release a game that week that people want to play and the Switch 2 is out and it runs not. a little better. And I, I, I just want to like quickly like go on a tangent. If you think yeah. Nintendo is going to abandon an install base of 100 plus million after the Wii U, you're smoking like the, <laughs> the, the next yeah. thing that comes after crack. I don't know what it is yet, but that's, that's the other thing is too. I know there's that stuff that came out earlier about how people saw it behind closed doors at Gamescom and now things are leaking about it regarding like the cartridges and the new cartridges. But keep this in mind is like you could play DS cartridges on a 3DS, even though 3DS had new cartridges. Yeah, yeah. Just because there's some new cartridge for the new system doesn't mean the old cartridges aren't going to work. Bro, and again, Game like, Boy Advance games worked in the fucking DS. Like or not, the, Game Boy Color, didn't it? In the original yeah. DS. Yeah. And they yeah. keep releasing more and more and more of these Switch games and so many of these re-releases that I feel like, again, the opportunity is there for them to be like, wasn't one of the, the rumors even that like they demoed it using Breath of the Wild as the example? Like if they promote these games and go, by the way, you could play them at running even better on the brand new Nintendo Switch 2. Boom, right there. You've got easy marketing, an easy, huge amount of library of games during its first year. So even if the amount of games that they release in the first year of Switch 2 isn't comparable to what we got the first year of the Switch, where we had, you know, we had Odyssey, Xenoblade, Breath of the Wild, all these really big games, they could still very easily be like, here, look, we have this huge library of stuff still coming out on Switch, still got Metroid Prime 4 or whatever down the pipeline that we still didn't see during this. And then they have like a big 3D Mario for the holiday season. That's all they need. They don't need anything else. No, they like, literally do a trailer. Games. Just do a trailer with like an original game running on Switch, and then what it looks like on Switch Two side by side, and like even people that don't, they, they'll understand when they see the graphics. Totally, better. totally. This we'll might see be it a running good, better. Like if they use the example wanna, of Pokemon. Yeah, I was gonna say like I don't know if we want to yep. talk about the DLC yet, but uh, there was that leak when I I mentioned it forever ago back Years on the ago, show. Yeah, they they predicted like everything in the first dlc and uh trailer they got everything right and at the very end of it they said um scarlet and violet is going to get a graphical enhancement for nintendo's next console so it's safe to assume other games are probably going to get that treatment for sure but i just don't know to how like extreme i also and feel the, like we, we've we heard the rumors that. of breath of the wild being shown at um was it gamescom yep. running gamescom. at 60 fps yep yeah and I also feel like looking at that as well, while we're talking about the Pokemon DLC, I think it is still weird to me they haven't announced when Indigo Disc is coming out. They said it's winter 2023, which could very easily be March of next year, because that's still technically the winter fiscal quarter of next year. They could go, okay, we're going to drop the DLC, the Indigo Disc or whatever in March. And then in April, because it's out of the fiscal year, they could release Switch 2. They could literally do that if they wanted winter, to. It. But, but the year would would help you along there with the hint of when it's dropping but no 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 because the winter 20 because they've done this before right. but if games. you think about the year where it says 20 anyways <laughs> right it, it, <laughs> no, 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 no. you said winter 2023 because they couldn't do March exactly then, it's out of 20 no absolutely it could a perfect example of this is rebirth final fantasy rebirth was announced for uh -huh. winter 2023 and is coming out in february of 2024 it's part of the same Fiscal year. It's, it's so yes. It's, the, no, fiscal year. Yeah. One, yes, it is, yeah. Ricky. It is. Hold so, on. Okay, I'll have to look it up. Hold on. Do they, 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 they don't market things like that, do they? They do. What? So yeah, they, they don't market they don't by always, physical year? They don't Fis always. By but they fiscal year? Fiscal, yeah. fiscal years and, not, and calendar years are not the same thing. 
No, I know. I agree with no, you. Right. Not. That's understandable. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I understand that. But I'm yeah. saying, why would they announce? Why, why would they announce it's coming out the fiscal year of winter 2023? They would like, I don't think anybody markets like that typically. That's I also what I'm saying. don't, I do not think Indigo Disc is coming out in three months. I just don't think that's happening. I think there's, you think I, it's I, too short of a window? I think it's too short of a window. I think they, they want to let people play Teal Mask a little more. I think they're waiting. I think that's the reason why they I don't think have Indigo a release Disc date is for bigger it. than people think too at this point. Uh, I also think because so of the well. graphical enhancement and how yes. long everything's been taking. I mean, I'd be fine with it coming out this winter. If it does yeah, come out too. like December 2023, that's fine. I, I'm happy to be wrong. I'm not saying this has to be true, but I think the way that they're like right, talking right. about it and that they're not saying exact dates leads me to believe that there is something else going on there, which is why I also totally buy into what Zeph's talking about that theory that it's going to end up being like a, you know, graphical enhancement thing for the next switch. Okay. Yeah. I think that's everything. Oh, Sora Amiibo. Sora Amiibo is the other thing too. Next. All right, right on. So moving on from the Nintendo direct, unless anybody wants to talk about teal mask, if you want to have a discussion. Wait, uh, sorry. does anyone sorry. care about another code? Oh, yeah, another code recollection. That's cool. Sorry. The Wait, what the heck? Oh, the, the DS game remake. Oh, codes? Yeah. codes? I, was, I was about to say codes. <laughs> codes? Super, <laughs> chat? codes? Chat? Super <laughs> deep <-dupe laughs> question. Yeah. Codes? The, the Sora Amiibo, like, they never put like sort like a uh, support for that into the game, right? Yeah, so no, it, it just will not, not work. People, right people are like, up. people are thinking it's gonna get update, guys. No, they're just gonna update not. it for Sora. Yeah, of course they're gonna but, update like, it so that you get the Amiibo. Do you think they'll actually update it? No, no, they're just they, gonna patch. No, the, it's no, gonna be yeah, an Amiibo. I, no, like no. they have is, they have to update what, what the is, game for Sora, but they're not gonna do anything else. Yeah, like no. does the game have support for like oh you tapped an amiibo we never added support for it? like did they did they think of this or is like the Sora amiibo just not gonna work with Smash Ultimate at all? No, no they do. They, they, they do updates for every the amiibo game. afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Oh, even after they like stopped updating the game, yeah. they still yeah, 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 amiibo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Like when when they, Pyra and Mithra came out, they did the same thing. Yeah, I did not know they did that. That's why I was doing that voice because like people are coping really bad that they're gonna patch the even things. Their game is dog shit to play, and they need something better. When um when the last balance patch came out, that's when they patched in the last of the amiibo support for like all the DLC characters except for Sora. And they mentioned that that patch was the last balance patch, but they might patch it later for like bugs and stuff. So I'm assuming they're going to patch it for Sora, and then that's it. There you go. Interesting. Well, moving on from the Nintendo Direct, let's hop into TGS specifically. I'm Final sure Fantasy VII I Rebirth. say we do FF7, yeah, with it. That's what I'm saying. Specifically, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I, I want to talk about this because obviously they released a new trailer at State of Play. Aro and I both played it. And I know Arlo's been waiting to talk. So, what are you thinking about Rebirth so far? He sleep too. Sick. Arlo. Anyway. Hello. Oh, there Hello. she is. <laughs> um, I liked it a lot. There you have it, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That's <laughs> <laughs> the part about it. There we go. What you think, thing though? I liked it. I think they added... So, I don't know, Roger, did you feel the same way when you played it? I felt really overwhelmed with how much I could do. Like, no, I was like... I didn't feel overwhelmed. Really? I felt no. really overwhelmed because you have, like, six abilities, you have, like, three synergy abilities, and then you have all your spells. So, I was like, damn, like, I have to be really specific about what I capture in my footage and, like, what do people want to see? Do they want to see the new abilities or do they want to see the new synergy abilities? So, I prioritized the synergy abilities, but I, I wish I would have had more than just two hours with that. See, I, I don't know. I didn't feel overwhelmed. I guess maybe overwhelmed in terms of, like, recording footage for a preview. But I, I'm going to be honest, like, I wasn't even thinking about that. I was there. there most of the people that were in my preview day were like from media. So it was like Washington Post or whatever. And the only other creator that was there was Afro. Afro Senju was in my group. No. And the two of us, the two of us were hanging out and we were like, we didn't even bring capture cards. We just recorded off of the, the PS5. And we were just playing through it. And I feel like I wasn't overwhelmed because I wasn't thinking about having to capture everything for footage. I was just like playing through it. And I think mm. 
with all of the different cool things that they added to it, the different synergy abilities, the different ways to play. I just felt like, cool, you can play this any way that you want to play it. If you want to have a team with Red and with Tifa and you just don't want to use any other character or you want to have Tifa and Aerith, you can just do it. And it's totally fine. And you could use whatever material you want. You could use whatever synergy abilities you want. You don't necessarily have to use every character. So, no, I just, I felt it was good. I think that was what I loved about the original remake as well, as I felt like it was really customizable. You could pretty much play it however you want to play it with whatever material you want to use. You could fight using the little, you know, stop screen where you're actually doing the turn-based things. Or you could just play it like a full-on action game. And I think having that variety is what made remakes so good. And that's exactly how rebirth felt like i feel like with rebirth i just i hopped into it and played it like remake and i just was able to get right back into it again it felt yeah, great the footage you've, i've seen of rebirth has gotten me to reopen and start replaying uh ff7r for on my computer are you doing that as well fidel i dropped yeah, that shit was, like two years, years ago well. and now I'm, I'm playing it again yeah i've been, I really, I've been like, doing like remake oh I was going to say, I like the synergy stuff they added because an issue like late in the remake is you're just kind of waiting for ATV gauge to really do anything. Yeah. yeah. Right. So now with the, like, with the spinning ATV stuff. gives you stuff to do more. Can Wait, Ari, what out of moves the did you see there? Oh, can you? I don't know. Uh, I you can't in can. remake, I don't think. No, in I, Ari, can you? Can you take Cloud at the party? No, no you, you can't, can't. You can't do that in Rebirth or Remake, I don't think. Oh. Okay. Because at the end of the day, I mean, I wish, like, I wish that they would allow you to take Cloud out the party, but I think they really want to solidify that, like, at the end of the day, you're playing as Cloud. You know, it's Cloud's yeah. story, and you don't, like, at the end of the day, that's, like, what's most important to them is, like, retelling Cloud's story. Um, Which is but crazy. I, I, I mean... Because I got, <laughs> I got, I, I finally got Tifa, and she feels so much better to play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's so much more fun. Does she One play the same? They'll uh, they'll probably do like they did this in FF7R, like the remake. That uh, there be, might be boss fights like late game. There's a boss fight where it switches to your other party members and they're equipped with whatever you had on them, and they're in a boss fight and Cloud's not there, so right. he's doing something else. Yeah, that could happen. So I really want them to do that a bunch as the party keeps expanding. I, I think a big thing. with regards uh, to this game as well, they're really like they're really trying to focus, or they're really trying to emphasize the uh, the exploration element yes. of it. Not just in terms of being able to look around in the overworld, but as you mentioned before, just being able to experiment with all sorts of different things and, and do all sorts of different things. I think, I mean, the fact that from the previews that you guys played and like the stuff that I've seen so far, you know, you had a lot of areas to look around in there was so much to see and uh so many different places to go i mean you were saying aru that you felt overwhelmed it's, it's probably not going to feel that way um when you're actually playing the game and you have your time you have the time to just kind of explore your yeah i pace. assume she was overwhelmed because she had to record yeah 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 for sure but i just think like i think that's a really really um exciting approach coming off of the much more kind of linear focused storyline of ff7r which was great in its own respect especially as a kind of a, an introduction covering the midgar section of the game the fact that they really want to stress like yeah this is going to be a big game i think is going to be it is what really excites me the most about this game yeah, and the, they've also confirmed the rebirth too. footage like confirmed for me like i was scared the whole series of the remakes games like ff7 remake games was going to just be like you walking through cramped spaces, but this is much better. Mm. They've also confirmed, too, where the game ends, which I think is interesting that they've already announced that the game is going to end at the Forgotten Capital, which is the end of Disc 1 in Final Fantasy VII, which for anybody who's played the original Final Fantasy VII, you know what happens during that. And so I, I do think it's funny that they're kind of already saying that's where this one is going to end to sort of set you up for, is that going to happen again, or is something going to change with no, the story? No, shit. What and do you, uh, what do well, you think? Ahead. Do you think it's gonna happen? Uh, Aru, do you want to share? Uh, Aru, yeah, you're, you're gonna happen? It's, not gonna, it's not gonna happen. I also agree. I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> it's not yeah. gonna happen. Yeah. Um, the thing why? that pisses me off. Can I? Uh -oh. Oh, well, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, go ahead. Please. Okay. We're talking about, we're talking uh, about Aerith. We're talking about Aerith, right? Yeah, we're talking about yeah. Aerith dying. The thing that pisses me off Holy is that there's no, <laughs> there's no fucking consistency. There's no consistency with, like, 
certain FF7 people, and I'm not saying like all FF7 people, but like people are like, no, she has to die. It has to happen. Like Aerith needs to die, right? Okay. Um, so, but like, in the same oh in the same breath, they're like super happy that Zach is alive, and it's like I yeah, hate to break it to you, yeah, but if Zach true. survives, Aerith is surviving. They've already changed it. It's not the it's not the same story. They've already changed it significantly at this point. So I don't think she's dying. So well, as a complete outsider, wait, you, you can explain to me if I'm wrong here, but bro, play the game. Anyway, uh, okay, okay. So, as a complete outsider, what I've been hearing and seeing is that there are like two timelines going on right now. Zach is in like the main one where Aerith is supposed to die, and Cloud is in the one. With the fucking ghost that pushed the fat kid out the window. Okay, so I can I can add to this a little bit. First off, there's a lot of stuff where if you watched, because I saw so many people going crazy over that little bit of gameplay where Sephiroth's talking to Cloud and he's like, such a puppy. And then that yeah. got memed everywhere. If you've played Crisis Core, you know what's actually happening in that scene. Because the hmm. the deal with like memories and with Zach and No, with but Tifa, that never happened. I know. Roger. Right. Right. No, but right, I, right. I think what he's That's implying my point. is the way Cloud is acting is not like Cloud. So it should be exactly. obvious what's going exactly. on. Exactly. And so exactly like you just said to McDareth and Aru is that never happened in that way. So my yeah. guess is Isn't I Aerith think also actually, aware. Yes. Well, Aerith, it's Aerith is not really all in, kind of aware remake. because of what happened with Jeez. in remake because of the stuff that happened with the um, what are they called? I the, mean, the... I have a different opinion on that though. Oh, go ahead. I'm interested in hearing it. I, well, I, I... So I don't think the Aerith that we have that we like um, spent time with in the remake is not the same Aerith that was in the resolution scene. The one that says like Cloud, you can't fall in love with me is actually Aerith from the OG. So you think there's two Aeriths going around? I think there's multiple timelines getting mixed up. Well, you even hear in the very the first trailer, trailer, in the first trailer for Rebirth, right? In the very first trailer, you get that scene with Tifa running up to Sephiroth and him saying, why are you doing this? You know she dies or you know she's dead or something. What's the, the thing yeah. she, that he says? He says something mm. to the extent of like, you know she's gone to yeah, Tifa. Yeah, something like and that. So it's, so I, there is definitely some weird time thing going there on there. What like there's I a lot of meta stuff happen. going on. Yeah, what I think is going to happen is like all you guys have said, I do think the timelines are going to merge at the end of the game where we're going to probably play the main game where, you know, with our remake party, with everything, Kate Sith, everything we've seen so far of the game. And then I think the Zack stuff is also going to be playable as like a separate chapter of the game where you're playing on Zack's timeline. And then what I think is going to happen, and I, I told Aru about this after the preview event thing, what I think is going to happen is I think Cloud is the one that gets killed. I think Remake's Cloud gets mm. killed and then in, to the in the game, at the end of the game. And the other timeline, when the timelines merge, the Cloud that we play as in the next game will be the Cloud that we've seen saved by Zack on the Zack timeline. But I, I think the Remake Cloud, I think the Remake Cloud gets killed. And what I also think is I think they are not going to waste the opportunity to do the reverse of the iconic scene of Cloud putting Aerith in the water, I think they're for sure going to do Aerith much, putting Cloud in the water. I, like, I'm telling That'd you right crazy. now, I think that's what they're doing. I feel like that's good because they need if they're hyping this up so much and they're like it needs to be a massive twist because obviously we all remember how we felt when that happened the first yeah. time when Aerith dies the first time it was such a massive, crazy, shocking thing to happen that they've got to do something similar to that in order to recapture the magic of how we felt during that scene because everything else about this game the way they're talking about it the way they're hyping up the story changing the way they're saying that they're focusing on this open world so you can recapture the magic of like walking out of midgar for the first time and seeing the open world the fact they're redoing oh. all the mini games mm -hmm. the same again like if they're they're making sure to make it in a way where it's how you remember it like recapturing the feelings of how you remembered playing it for the first time changing. and slightly well, changing it and and making it its own thing yeah. yeah and i got shit for saying this on twitter but um 
Of my you, thing is like, my thing is like the whole reason why Cloud feels like such a failure fuck and he hates himself and he's like all fucked up mentally <laughs> in Advent Children <laughs> is because he, he like in his eyes, he let Aerith die. Like he was unable to save her and that right. really uh, fucks him up permanently. Like he, if you watch Advent Children, he's like, he's genuinely like suffering from like very very bad depression because of yeah. Aerith dying and like Tifa even knows it too like Tifa doesn't know what to do to help him in Advent Children so what's the point if we have a reimagining for the same shit to just happen I don't yeah, get this notion stupid. of like people being no. like oh well it has to be the same as the OG it has to be the same as the OG no bitch go play the OG then what oh the fuck also, also, also like no 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 because no, saying, what she's saying like, she's like, right she's in, in the, in the games it, you can physically Ricky. kill you can physically kill the fate ghost, which is which is the yeah. developer saying that yeah, the original the game, story is not yeah. set in stone. You can fight the yes. fate of the character. Yeah, I mean the, exactly. the first, I also think, the first I also game's think ending. They play both, right? If they wanna if they wanna play both sides a little bit and going along with what Aru said too, I completely agree. I don't think they need to do the same thing. Or Aerith mm -hmm. doesn't need to die again. But yes. if, for the purposes of the plot of the original Final Fantasy VII, mm -hmm. There obviously is a plot reason towards the end of the game that requires her to not be alive, right? Yeah. They, now, they could obviously change that, but what I absolutely think they could do is have her not die at the end of Rebirth and kill her anyway in part three and That's have it crazy. be at a totally different time yeah. and, ha and have her realize what's going on in the other thing, yeah. have the, the relationship between her and Zach, you know, but then also play on that for the third game to be well, like, she's look, also, we're just to never be together. She's also like Sephiroth's direct threat because she has exactly. the white materia and she's etc. Exactly. So Sephiroth is like, I need this bitch out of here, you know? Exactly. So well, there's some point where she's like going to have to have her one-on-one -on -one with Sephiroth. But right. Sephiroth did say like seven oh. seconds. Will it be enough? Like, what the fuck does that mean? Right, exactly. Well, and, well, and, well, and, 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 and real quick, real quick. Wait, 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 wait. Real quick. Because you said that. What I think is going to happen, and I went back, I again told Aru this, is that seven seconds line about will it be enough? I think that scene that you see in Remake where Cloud is talking to Sephiroth and he says seven seconds, I think we're going to see that exact same scene during the same shot from FF7 where Sephiroth descends and stabs through Aerith, Which where takes Cloud seven has seconds. seven seconds to run mm -hmm. up and save Aerith, and that's it. And that's yeah. why I think Cloud, I think it'll seem like, oh shit, Aerith's going to get stabbed through. It's happening and Cloud pushes her out of the way and gets stabbed through instead and gets killed. And that's oh the God, like, I, hope, I, I hope. have a question also I wait, about, about, about Cloud being depressed. Hold on, hold on. About Cloud being depressed, real no, quick. I, okay. Uh, to my knowledge, I, okay, this is going to sound fucking crazy considering I've played like everything. I have never played the original Final Fantasy VII or any of its supplementary material. I only have friends who love it. To what I know is that doesn't Cloud think he's Zach? Yes. Yes. So so everything to him mm -hmm. is just fucked up. So he's just fucked up the entire yeah. Yeah. time. Right? The death of Zach really messed up his head to begin with. He has, he has okay. PTSD. Like literally. Okay. Like, well, like, no, yeah. and he was also experimented on yes. by Hojo, and yeah, Hojo put Zach's uh, memories into Cloud. Yes. As well. Like he's not he's not a oak. Here's the thing, right, about this whole thing. First of all, I mean, it's obvious. It's very obvious that remake is not actually a remake. Like we all, it's a sequel. No, no, no. We all, no, yeah, and not. they confirm that. The devs yeah. confirm that yeah, already. So, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, so, they, so it's a full reimagining. Yes, yes. So, uh, yes, and no. like, because this is the thing, I think of these as like, it's it's FF seven two, like. I like I like that's how I'm picturing it. It is. Of, it's like, literally it's that. It is like, because like, like, if you're gonna remake, not, a reimagining it. implies a reimagining implies is that like there's a certain level of like not fuckery you're allowed to do with a like remake. You're allowed remake. to like kind of tweak things to make it more conducive, plush, but that's not what they're doing. They're literal. They're literally like the thing already happened. Now we're going to do another thing, knowing that the first thing already happened. So there's that. So with that in mind, I'm was like starting to like really think about okay what is the thing about final fantasy that makes it special for a lot of people and the fact that final fantasy 7 is one of the very first games on a real actual level to address a topic as heavy as grief and loss right it's like a game that's all about grief and like how do people die and will people who live when people die how are they affected after that that being the case there is in my mind no way in this, I, I think it happens in the third game. This game doesn't end 
with Cloud having to choose, he has to be in a scene where he goes, if I set it, if, if everything right to how it's supposed to be, quote unquote, Aerith is, I'm going to choose her Aerith to die. Yep. I'm going to choose all of these different things because that is how it's supposed to be. But, and he ha and the whole thing about Cloud is that he's like, yo, I'm like, you know, like, like Aru said in FF7, he's like distraught. He's like crestfallen because even though he knows, like objectively, he did everything he could to save Aerith. He couldn't. In this game, he is going to be the reason she dies. Did someone and just load a gun? Like, no, it's a bag. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, it's like I think I think because the whole, because while the first game was all about loss, I think this game what they're gonna do is like really show like how to grieve and like accept it because Cloud at the end is gonna be like, yo, like this is how it's supposed to be. Like it's just I don't see a way where it doesn't end with a similar scene like that because. If it's really a sequel, like it is in my head, there has to be a moment where Cloud has to accept the way that things are supposed to be, which for is sure. original Final Fantasy. Um, okay, yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm I, glad you guys are all on this page. I think that moment, too. like, like I really, I really have, absolutely be the third game. I think, no, I think that the build up. Moment. Yeah, I totally agree. Which is why I think, like you said, like because we've already seen that Cloud is saved by Zack in the Zack timeline, and we're probably going to play through that, and the timelines at some point are going to merge because. Like one other thing to mention, just so we don't get like too much into theory crafting here, I do kind of want to go over like what they announced. Is they announced yeah. that not every character that they've shown in the trailer is going to be fully playable in this one. There's going to be accompanying right, yeah. members, and there's going to be fully playable. Now, in the first game in remake, you had Tifa, Aerith, and Barrett as playable, and Red was accompanying. In this one, my assumption is that we're going to have Yuffie, Red, and Kate Sith as the three new playables. And then we're going to have Sid and Vincent as accompanying. Yeah. And then in the third game, I think it's going to be Sid and Vincent as playable, but there's still going to have to be some other new party member. I think that's Zach. I, I think Zach, Zach after Zach. the timeline merges at the 100%. end of the game. That would be like the perfect fan service yes. thing to do. And then if they end up doing that, like I said, that leaves the door open then because if the timeline merges and Cloud dies at the end of two, the Cloud from Zach's timeline would still be present, would find out all the stuff that happened in Remake. All so, and he won't be mentally like, fucked up, yeah. It, Ro Roger, still, have you played Chrono Trigger? To go through the grief. Oh yeah, I love Chrono It's one of my favorite so you think it's going to be like, yeah. you think it's going to no, be like a lava, like a lava where, Zach... where he loses and then Zach takes over right. as the main character right. to like, get Cloud back? But the Cloud exactly. from Zach right. timeline would have... Wait, you're missing, you're missing a huge chunk, Roger, because Cloud from Zack's timeline would have never fallen in love with Aerith. The moment Aerith right. and Cloud are, like, are about to tell each other that they're both in love with each other, remember, Kate Sith had the fortune where Kate Sith literally told them, this is right before Aerith's death, where he says, poor Tifa, like, you and Aerith are meant to be together. You guys are meant for your, sh your star shines brightly or whatever Kate Sith had. The moment that they were about to, like, genuinely tell each other they were in love is when she died dies and that's why that scene when she dies hits so fucking hard both for like the audience and cloud so the cloud from zach's timeline would never have met Aerith, would have never fallen in love with her do you see Correct. what i'm saying I so her dying had no however, significance however, on him however if the timelines merge right the memories my assumption would be the memories of the characters that are in the timelines merging would unite and that cloud from zach's timeline would be the same cloud, like w mentally would be the same cloud, which is why I think when, when Tito was bringing up the thing about like, he has to choose, I think that is so important, right? Because eventually by mm -hmm. the end of the third game, Aerith and Zach probably both still have to die and him coming to that yes. realization by the end of it, like shit, it's just, this is how it's gotta be. Yes. If, if we need everything to be resolved and to wipe out Sephiroth once and for all, this is going to end up having to happen. Okay, can I, but, can but, I but, jump but, in? Can I jump in? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Some points. Cause like, go ahead. I think the whole point of the first game was to say that we are not dictated by fate. So I don't, yeah, that's I don't literally think, what is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I don't think they're going to do a 180, like, oh, no, it has to be this way. I think the whole thing, no. the way that this game is going is them battling literally their own fate to right. change it. This game, so I don't, for sure. It reminds so me of Xenoblade think, where, you, where they that's, battled that's how the, nihilism, that's how basically. <laughs> Yes, yeah, that's my yeah. point is, though. I think this whole trilogy, the point is, they're battling their fate, so things do not have to be the same. Mm -hmm, I, don't, mm -hmm. I don't think, 
I don't think it gets to the point where Klaus says no, she just has to die. That's an exception. No, no, what? Like, I don't yeah, no, think really it's really 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 what you laughed at. Well, the thing about that is, <laughs> there, is a, there is a passivity that is prevalent in the writing with the game, where the writing of the game is presented as you, if you know what's happened in the original, right? Yeah, things you know happen to you know. things happen to Cloud, right? Cloud is very much a things happen to him. He's like, he is the number one. I literally was in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong people, and I'm fucked. That's literally yeah. Cloud for like the, his entire origin story. So this game is showing like this, like Cloud is making, if you notice a lot of the writing, especially in the first one, Cloud's making a lot of active choice. That like he's choosing a lot more than he would have previously. He's choosing to combat fate. He's choosing, which is why I'm saying at the end of the game, the choice of him has to matter. Because of the, because of also this is like a square game. Well, the square yeah. games that's, usually that's like, end with some big fucking say, like though, ultimatum is scene. Like, I think like the choice is going to be screw that. I'll save them both. Like I don't yeah. think it's going to be well, no. They, I'm just going to let them go. I think this well, I think the ending is going to be a happy ending. Literally, the choice ending. is or the choice is <laughs> look. He he <laughs> dies instead of Aerith. He pushes Aerith out. Of that, the no, that's the other thing. Is <laughs> yeah. I I don't think I could be wrong. I don't think there's a world they kill Cloud. In the I, same like, sense, I, like I get, I get. Let Aru go. So let Aru go. Wait, 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 Aru. What? In the same sense, you're saying that it's like a square game, so some fucky shit needs to happen. But let's let's go back to Final Fantasy 13. Final Fantasy 13 had three games. The first one was all the bad shit that happened to Lightning. Then the second one is the bad shit that happened to her sister, and then the third one is Lightning going back and changing the entire fate. And at the very end, Lightning saves everybody. She saves her family. She saves all of her friends. It's a very happy ending by the third yeah, iteration I of 13. I don't think they want Seven Remake to be tragic. I think yep, they want it to I be agree. hopeful and just like the the like true happy ending for all of those characters. The golden ending. Like, yeah. To tell yeah. the truth, the scene, the scene. If you think someone's gonna say, I think it's gonna be Zach. I think that's what they'll do. I think that's the point. Zach gets there. Could do that as well. He gets there to save. He dies anyway, yeah. right? That's yeah, what yeah, I was yeah. thinking. Yeah, and that, that would be great if the timelines exactly. merge. Zach is present during. The death of Aerith, and then Zach is the one who pushes her out of the way and dies. Uh, yeah, instead. he and, dies on his own terms. And that'd be sick, and that'd be awesome yeah. because oh. then again, you get that that, but, that scene of still, putting Zach it, in the water. It's still not a happy ending, though, because but, then, no, 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 no. But but but, 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 so but the really thing about the thing about just pushing them out of the way, like. Wouldn't Sephiroth then still be chasing Aerith because he still has to That's kill what I was about to say. Aerith, <laughs> yes, you yes, know. But like, how do you resolve the fact that Sephiroth is still a problem? It's, yeah, because yeah. like, someone can sacrifice himself, but Sephiroth is still hunting. Like, it's like he's oh, gonna be like, sure. "Well, I killed this guy instead." Like, of course, yeah. he's got a whole other game. For I that, used all obviously. my mana for today. Yeah, 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 yeah right. This Sephiroth, <laughs> this Sephiroth also knows, like we said earlier, the Sephiroth knows that if Aerith dies, dies, then she could stop the thing anyway. So, like, yeah. I feel like this Sephiroth is gonna come up with something else regardless. Uh -huh. Yeah, definitely has a different and plan. Also, yeah, you know, this whole like thing with him falling and stabbing her, he could use that as a complete like. Fake out. He knows it's, it's coming. Out, they sure. know it's yeah. coming. He could use yeah. it to trick them all. For like sure. Even, for even sure. when you play a Sephiroth in the flashback, he has Heaven's Gate. Or Hell's yeah, no, he's, he has yeah, no, he does. He does. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, and um, I believe Aerith like have already died because when you are on like Cloud and Aerith like um walk together. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> when you're on there. Fucking same goddamn person. What you eating over there? Salt and vine guard chips. Okay. What the hell is a Don't vine? Don't say okay unless she didn't say vine gar. What do you mean okay? Oh, what Pokemon can't is that? Say the you can't, you can't say the other word because then they're gonna take her voice and run it through yeah. AI. Exactly. And then we're all exactly. Like, what type of world are we living in, bro? You can't let them win. <laughs> No, they can't do it. Oh, I'll give you all the N-word passes you need. Cloud already <laughs> saw Aerith die. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. What? what? No, that, that's a real thing, by the way. Uh, my the my friend, says? I was in call. I was in call with my friend for ten minutes. They recorded me, and then played me speaking back, saying things I've never said. That's fucking oh, that's scary. Terrifying. Ricky literally you, did that on the show this year. You need that's scary. Literally did the same thing. Yeah, you played well, the AI. Well, remember that. Well, Ricky's a weirdo. Huh? But you did. And he's the police. <laughs> and he's the police. Like, like what are we really doing? And he's <laughs> bro. Never hear That's... me being nice to Fidel. It's AI. Face. What? Let's go. <laughs> the test. Soon, you're not going to be able to tell the difference between a real Japan Time episode and an AI-generated one. Oh shit! Isn't there that Minecraft YouTuber bro. who like made his whole thing AI now? 
a couple cop. Yeah, a couple cop. And AI could never replicate this brain, all right? Bullshit. Yo, if we can be like, oh, I'm about to say, what? if we can be uh, uncomfortably <laughs> serious for a moment on like a an actual like security like yeah. privacy concern front, like yeah. with AI shit, this is a real thing that is being talked about in certain circles, like. Uh, especially your older family members, like set up a code word that you only tell them in person. Yeah. Because it, we are going to get to a point where people are going to be able to fake your voice and like call your family members and sound like you. It's it's legit. Like those videos, oh, go, yeah. the, the funny the funny Joe Rogan AI things. That's fucking scary, bro. There's so much. Uh, there's enough of us, all of us in call right now. There is enough oh. content for on the internet of us for us to say anything with AI. They wouldn't do that to me. They would do it to you specifically. Yeah, you're the one. Motherfucker. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> yeah. He's the one what? they would do let it me know, Let me know when AI can speak Spanish. That's light. <laughs> That's light, bro. What you mean? I, said, I didn't say they can't. Not, they got to be able to speak Spanish. They can speak English, bro. Come no, on. Saying, they can do I'm it right now. They can literally I didn't do say it. they couldn't. I'm it's just saying, over. let me know. No, it's reps. They have the it's technology. Already? I didn't even know. It was quick. That was fast. You guys want to hear my crackpot theory as someone that's never played any FF7 game? Yeah, let's hear it. Old or remake. Here's what they do. For the next game, they, they do the whole marketing. They, they do. Ooh, that'd be sick. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Marketing built up. Every, every, like, you know, all of the series that you guys have been throwing around, like there's, like, there's obviously a level of knowing and of knowledge amongst the characters and also the fan base of what's going to happen. So they do this sick lead up marketing campaign. And when the game comes out, there's actually Pokemon style two copies. And in one, I'll, I'll, I, in one, you see me on the news. Aerith dies, whatever. Kick, like it, like the, 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 the timeline stays the same kind of thing. The other one, Cloud dies, Tifa dies, whatever the wait, fuck. Like, whatever they want. Wait, wait, wait. Are you implying? Let me versions? Are you? You think they're gonna ship two hold versions? On, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, Roger. Are you implying? I haven't, implying got, to, I haven't, got, to I haven't got to the kicker. I haven't got to the kicker. Are you implying computer. a clue like the movie thing where they release different endings in different theaters around the country? Uh, I don't think it would be like a secret thing. Like I don't think like people would know. Every which one they're getting. Different ending. Like you're, you're also, saying, is, oh, is no, every, is is it just to play to the end Kombat to figure one? out what disc they get? It's what the? Do we have, okay, do, do we have the title? Do we have the oh, title of the next God. one? Do we know what it's called? Yeah, yeah reunion. Uh, after probably reunion. reunion. I know what the third one. Reunion. Rebirth. Oh, no, Rebirth. The real ending is reunion. I believe. I've been sitting on the real ending for the entire time. Okay, so we don't. We don't know. Wait, no, 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 no. Crisis Core is called reunion. The remaster of Crisis Core is reunion. The real ending is that this game. This game crashes and burns doesn't sell well and then square enix goes hey let's finally put out the final fantasy 9 remake that okay. we've been waiting on for and then fucking it was worse mm -hmm. and then no, no. It was worse yeah so, okay listen so, so we don't know the name yeah they haven't announced it because i was just, just gonna the use third it for game example. is definitely gonna be a reunion Oh, okay, but so why would they do that when they when they did a Crisis Core reunion? Crisis oh yeah, no, that's, yeah, you're right, you're right. I didn't yeah, know but why would they? But Ari, they wouldn't use reunion twice. They'd probably use a different name. No, it's definitely. Me, Final oh, Final you know what it is? It's Final Fantasy VII Return. It's what? That's what I think it is. Reincarnation and Aerith comes back. Reincarnation. Reincarnation. And there's like a zombie. Final Fantasy VII Reincarnation. So here's what they do. Aerith as a zombie. Does does uh it's so where does Mario so dying to Sephiroth fit in the timeline? So the second game Mario doesn't die. Remember that if you watch uh, the trailer, it's a fake out too. Know, but is he? Alone. But is he in? But is he canon? Is he canon to FF7? Like Smash that Brothers world? is canon it's to every Smash. video game ever. Of course, if something happens okay. in Smash Brothers, it happens in the other game. No, okay. that, happens, okay, okay. that happens after so this trilogy of games, so. though. Because it you're happens right. on a split timeline right. from Advent right. Children. You're yeah. right. You're right. right. Okay, you're right. You're right. Revive's a good one. It could be Final Revive Fantasy VII Revive. Revive? Revive? Okay, I could see Final Revive. Fantasy VII. Virum, Virum. This might Revive actually take place before Advent Children, and then it splits there, and then the Advent Children movie <laughs> is the Smash <laughs> trailer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. oh, actually, no. Wait a minute. <laughs> the Advent Children fight is the Smash Brothers trailer, like you said. Yeah, what it yeah. actually is, Smash Brothers is the Advent Children scene <laughs> on Zack's timeline. <laughs> Is and then Mario is. kills <laughs> Aerith. We got it. With yes. Mario kills Aerith. We're code, yes. oh, 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 everybody. You just spoiled the game, bro. Mm. Mario mm. kills Aerith. Hold up. You might Let be out. cooking. Let me finish my crackpot idea, okay? Yeah, Square Enix, if you're listening. If, Square Enix, if you're listening, this one's free. Take it. You're going to make so much fucking money, all right? Here's what you do. So the next mm. game comes out, but they, they market it very clearly that 
you know, which, which one this is going to go like one like Aerith still dies. The other one like Tifa dies, Cloud dies, whatever one of the crackpot ideas that you guys have had on the show or whatever. Like it, it changes things, right? Here's what they do. They come up with both games. They make it pretty clear up front what that's going to be. You're going to have like FF7 recollection and FF7 rewritten or some shit. You go off the sales of the game. And if they're not, if it's not heavily enough skewed <laughs> in one direction on the third game, they all die. And if, if, if it, if it isn't, if it is skewed in one direction, that's the only person you save. You think I, everyone could die? I'll never I mean, say, I'll never never you if you get like a 50, 50 split, you lose you Tifa. Again. If you have like a 50, 50 split on the sales, you lose Tifa and Aerith. If most people buy the Aerith one that like saves her, then you save her Tifa dies. It becomes the new, yeah, the but new Sephiroth cannon. has no reason to kill Tifa. So he won't do it. Let me ask you, Aru. Yeah, I want to know. Fans. I want to specifically ask Aru one thing. Aru, mm -hmm. who do you want to die? If, if someone's going to die, who do you want oh, to die? Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me think. Like, out of the good guys? Out of anybody. Well, out of the good you guys. But out you of can't the say guys, meme. You have Go to say, choose yeah, somebody you can't say to die. Them. Who would you want well, to die at the end she's, of the Why is she considering that? Uh, mm -hmm. So something that was cut from the original game was on the return to Midgar, it was going to be all your party dies except set certain people you pick. But they cut that. Oh. What? The original Final what? Fan, yeah. The original Final Fantasy VII. I would say... You know, Cloud. Damn. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah. But, Damn. The original Final Fucking Fantasy VII, just... when on the return to Midgar part of the game, <laughs> the original script was that your party members were all going to die except for a set amount. But they changed that, so that didn't happen. So that's definitely not happening here, for sure. Wait, why did you pick Cloud? Is it cause... Everybody, I that must say, cool, though. I'm really looking forward to having this exact same discussion three years from now it's gonna yeah, be really oh fun. yeah oh yeah oh yeah, yeah for sure <laughs> and we're all we're all gonna be wrong so this is pointless yeah facts no but it's fun it's but it'll be fun because yeah. if we come back to this one and listen to it and be like this is what we were wrong about this is what we were right about everything then we go to the new one and we use that and we see who was right about stuff in this one we and we go know, okay we're gonna listen we to all you. know that this game is gonna end with barrett saving everybody this really this really is time like it's really barrett him. was like, about he, to die though yeah, and we not, never go now. back and watch the old episode where I lose a bet with Roger and still owe him fifty dollars. We mm. never do that. We never do that. That's, please give me fifty dollars. I would like Barrett that. sweep. That never happened. Just send him fifty Canadian. No, Roger. I will bet you a steak dinner that Cloud doesn't die. I will not do that because I've already lost a steak dinner. No, 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 no. It's, it's just Roger. me. If I lose, I pay. You don't have to do anything. It's one thing. <laughs> Free? What oh, then of course I would do that. Why would I not take that? Of course. Because he's so bet. he's so confident, I'm very confident that he's not paying that thing, bro. Damn. Like, that's right. it. It's just making him stop. Oh, he might it be would be the craziest. It's just an ego. That, that it's an, an ego an trip thing. Yeah. yeah. That would be Wait, an Aerith level, Roger. but like I just don't. I don't see it. I love that. I'll take it for sure. Roger, who would you pick to die? Oh, Cloud for sure. Hell yeah, let's go. Wait, wait, okay. Why are why do you want Cloud? Is it because he's a cuckold? No, <laughs> no, I love what's going on? No, no, no. Don't get me wrong. I love Cloud. My no, favorite ship of all like time her. is yeah. Clarith, right? But the whole reason that is like uh -huh. Aerith can't die. I love Aerith number one. She's my number one. As long as she lives and as long as she's happy, it's whatever to me. I also love <laughs> everyone else, but yeah, girl, I feel like the most shocking thing. Ships. The crazy oh, thing about it is see, that you, you I don't even. She's talking, though chips are flying like, out of her trap. Like, the, the, thing, the thing about it is she's eating Mom, chips, gonna... and I, I don't hear any crunching. She's like That's eating them saying. so like perfect. She's like swallowing. She's eating them like they're gummies. Like Kirby or something. <laughs> 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 nah, she just she just leaves the chip in her mouth till it disintegrates. That's crazy, soggy ass chips. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. Roger, what's next? Well, we got a lot of stuff yeah, to talk about. We got, the rest of TGA, we got the rest of TGS. I guess, you know what? Here's, here's what I'll say. This is a good transition. You know, there's a lot of characters that are in Final <laughs> Fantasy, right? You've got yeah, Cloud, you've got Aerith, you've got Sephiroth, but there's only one character that's going to be in Tekken. And that's Tifa. So Tekken Ooh. was at TGS. Let's talk Segway. a little bit about what else was at TGS. Mm. We've got Aru here to talk about Tekken. So let's talk about Tekken. Would you, would you like what you see? Fucking people TGS? making Tekken right now because I still haven't Whoa. seen fucking Christy and I'm losing my mind. Any Christy fans? Really tough crowd here. No. No. Who? No fans. I don't know anything Christy? about Tekken. You guys don't like Christy? I don't know. I, Is I, that I the don't know. 
She's like Eddie. Is she Eddie's sister? Eddie's oh, cousin? Oh, no. Eddie Gordo? I don't, I don't yeah. think so. Eddie Guerrero? Yeah. I don't, yeah. Think so. I don't know who that is. No. Eddie Gordo. I feel, like, Eddie Gordo. I feel like a lot of people don't like Christy because she replaced Eddie. So I feel like. No, because they had Eddie and Christy Eddie. both in the game. And Tag? Yeah. Yeah. And five as well. <laughs> I guess it can well, <laughs> Christy is one of the reasons why I'm bisexual, and so I really think it'd be nice to have her back in the game because she's so pretty. Also, I okay. think Azucena's design is like very, very lackluster. Um, I feel like they could have done way more with Azucena. She has a really, really good fighting style, and I'm glad that they put her in. But I just wish they had done more with her design. Wait, what do you what do you think about the voice actor for uh, for Clive in Final Fantasy 16? Don't. God. What, what have you done? Voice <laughs> for Clive? You We're know gonna get banned on Spotify. I mean, my goodness, if Clive could just yeah, snap me in half and shove me in a suitcase, on. I'd be so happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, man, Roger, what have you done? <laughs> hey, hey, Roger, hey, I hate how you, man. <laughs> can we look at Honestly, can we look that? That was that was well, the Yoshi design. Do we do we like that? Do we like this Yoshi? It's not that is fire. I think I love it. I like it too. I like Yoshi. It's not as squiddy as the last one, but it's pretty good. I like this Yoshi. Well, isn't this squiddy Yoshi for, like, Soul Calibur? Yeah. I definitely, oh, for a second, oh. did not realize you were talking about Yoshi Mitsu. Oh, I thought it was Yoshi. I thought you were talking about Mario. Jesus. I didn't know. I didn't know. I thought you were talking about Yoshi. I got context. Holy shit, I got mixed. I just want them to announce Violet, too. The fact that they haven't announced Violet yet makes me, like, very confused because yeah, I, exactly. Everybody's just waiting for Violet. I love what they did with Horong though. Horong has never looked better. I love him. I if I could get Horong to break me and shove me in a suitcase, I'd be so. Happy. <laughs> you feel the way about Kazuya too, right? Aro, you, you cannot. Stop. You cannot just be folding yourself in suitcases. The fuck? <laughs> she could practice. What's no, your, what's your problem? Tight. Yeah, and no, I. Who would, who, who would get you to fold into a suitcase, Fidel? That's what I want to know. Isn't it that uh, Pokemon Garden Sonic. where you said... No, finally... it's Sonic. No, but Sonic you're talking about that Pokemon. No, 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 Sonic is literally underage. That's fucking weird. You, you are never thing, mind. I'm gonna die. One thing that I only okay. Oh, he's a fucking animal. Why do we care about the other part? <laughs> one, one thing that I think is a, he's also underage. So far, a bit both of a parts shame. are You're underage. Actually. Like they're both problematic. <laughs> what one thing that I think is a bit of a shame with the with the Tekken cast so far is that we've only had one new character. Yeah. I think, like, it's cool to see all the ones returning and how they've, like, changed and, like, aged up and all the all the visual overhauls and then changed their movesets and stuff, but it's it's just, it's it's strange not seeing new characters added to a new fighting game. Because well, they gotta wait. Like a... Again, Tifa's gonna break the internet when it happens, so I feel like well, they gotta wait. They gotta so wait. Like even, so so even why like did they put out in, in, in universe characters, hmm? Why did can they I, put that I figure out of Tifa no? twerking on the Buster Sword? Oh, yeah, you can we say leaks no one cares, you. Are you sure you guys don't care about leaks? Yeah, you're, you're, no. you're, 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 there's apparently a leak that like Heihachi's daughter is going to be uh, an original character in Tekken. Oh, 8. okay. Mm -hmm. That's not like they're going to bring him back. She got the spoilers, man. What the fuck? So she's she that... going to have <laughs> Heihachi's <laughs> move list, but it's going to be his daughter. <laughs> she would, uh, were people, okay, I don't. I don't I I'm not a Tekken head. That. Were people were people missing Heihachi from the games or like? Yeah, they definitely well, Heihachi's a staple. Yeah, yeah so, like, so basically because so the voice actor... Yeah, it's correct. Yeah, because the voice actor is dead, and you typically in Japan, that's how, like, they arrest you, out you the honor, character. Yeah, yeah you yep. honor him. So this yeah, is the best in way the, to in, have, in, like, uh, in the United I mean, States, in the West, we take artificial intelligence, them, Yes, exactly. No one's dead. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. You remake that person. Bring him back. Okay, but does, does I mean, she have more that than that, they also kill that double gene? Like, what are we doing? No. Oh, well, oh, actually, they, they killed should. him in Tekken no, 5 as well, and then he came back. Yeah, that was... Weird. No, because Heihachi <laughs> doesn't have the devil gene. Yeah, okay. Heihachi doesn't. As long as it's not with June. No, so so he I'm could asking. have had an affair or something. What? I don't know. What? what, what? Kazumi, is that her name? Yeah, Heihachi yeah, would Kazumi. never have an affair. Not with Kazumi, they don't like... Lars, technically, is Heihachi's illegitimate son, and he doesn't have devil gene. Wait, so Heihachi cheated? Yes, he, he is might such have. A Swedish man. What a whore, dude. Maybe that Joseph, Joseph, Joseph treatment. Joseph cheats on people too? 
Yeah, they made Joseph wow. cheat on his wife. It was I mean, bullshit. I mean, actually, yeah. isn't the yeah. uh, isn't Kazumi? Well, so technically, Kazumi should. Gohan be would never dead. cheat on his wife. Before yes, he Lars would. came around. No, he wouldn't. Or maybe not. Gohan. Not how old Lars is. Yes, he would. No, he loves Videl. The fuck are you talking about? He would. He wouldn't. He would. He would not. Go on, my fucking bro. I don't know about you. Like, go on, is only he only loves Videl. What the fuck is this? Go on, go on, is out there fucking in space. No, like, he's not. Yes, he's he, he doesn't even. He specifically is the one that doesn't go to space. <laughs> why, why she keeps him tight on that he's specifically the one that doesn't go to space. He stays, bro. He knows Gohan will be out there fucking. Nah, he's 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 not even who's fucking in space. Having about, in space. Has about, anybody been playing Starfield? He's space. It's go time. Mit. Okay, well. Maybe. Wait, playing. Uh, I played about five or six hours and I dropped that shit. Not gonna lie. This shit is ass. Wait, so who do you guys think the guest characters are gonna be for Tekken Eight other than Tifa? Oh, okay, well, they put fucking up. Negan uh, in Tekken Seven, so I don't know. To be I honest, think, I think <laughs> maybe they do. Roger. Or Ken. Roger, you think it's gonna be Roger? You think I'm gonna be yeah. a guest character? Yeah, for yeah, 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 bro. Wait, it's okay, your time so, finally. So I'll have Obi with me. I'll fight with my dog. I'll have Obi with me. We'll fight. It'll be I, good. Did, did they put like Negan and Seven at the peak of like uh, the Walking Dead show's popularity? Yes. yes. Right. Okay, yeah. so what's peak right now in, in pop culture? Luffy, there you go. Um, I've actually Luffy. Uh, you gotta stop it. Like if I play I Tekken and Luffy you. is throwing heavies at me from across the fucking <laughs> stage. <laughs> dude, Kagurabachi would be fucking raw, dude. Kagurabachi yeah. would actually be insane if they did. Is it aren't One Piece and Tekken under nah, the same umbrella? The they're both under Bandai. Bandai. They're both no, 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 they yeah, they're both under yeah, they're just Bandai. publishing so the games, good. though. Roger, you could stop at any point. But they are, it's you. true. You could just stop at any... I'm just letting I could you know, stop, but I'm not going to. Okay, I just want... As long as you I'm know aware. you could. Okay, all right. I know, cool. I know. I'm, I'm not going to stop just like you never stopped plugging party mm. animals. I mean, you oh, were playing party animals. Oh, they should Barbie and Tekken. That'd be so cool. you did that whole Twitch Rivals thing with party animals. Oh, shit, Barbie and Ken? Yeah, Barbie, Barbie and Ken would be Aru, awesome. as, as the Tekken person, uh, as the Tekken person, is there any like series that people have wanted or like has, have Harada have wanted to like cross they over? They wanted with? they wanted Kiryu from Yakuza, but, but he doesn't the beat up women. Dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The creator was like, yeah. no, he doesn't hit women. But, so, yeah. but uh, that's that's they could put Ichiban. They could put Ichiban. Oh yeah, they could put Ichiban. But I'm sure there'll be something. He beats up women. Also, didn't Harada tease like Solid Snake like two years ago? Oh my god! That was a. That was a. That was a. It was an evil prank. They. It was an evil prank. It's definitely not a prank. He's gonna be in it. That would be cool. I'm totally not against it. I love. No, I'm not sure they got mad at that. What I could see them doing is with um you know konami is remaking snake eater i could see them do naked snake i could see them potentially throw naked snake in there as like a promotional thing see, and that's how snake konami would agree with it why is he naked bro? it'll probably be around the that's same just, time right that was the i'm name. assuming they, they would do the... i know i know <laughs> they're gonna put like a 2d <laughs> character in there but who like who's it i think it's think gonna be it's gonna be rashid it's gonna be rashid tekken again or tekken cross street fighter i think it's gonna be a, the street fighter character. it'll be rashid bro he'll be like rashid, oh, be rashid. fucking pulls up why is it what's the other shit stop self-inserting as rashid you're not, not rashid also, this is I'm super not, embarrassing he, and everybody's it's really feeling not rashid is wrong actually you're no you're actually making it rashid is the goal i don't know what you're no one's actually talking about that rashid is the good no one's ruining everything you're ruining the podcast yourself by not including rashid Hey, get, off my character, man. get off my character. That's my yeah, character. Get off no, the fuck character. is not. Right. Right. Really not. Get get off my character. We all, we all, we all saw you. the first. Get, get off my character. He owed you miserably. He obliterated you. He folded you in a suitcase. He, bro. What? This is crazy. Let him know. Let him know. This is crazy. Nobody is folding anyone into a suitcase here. Let's just get that straight right now. All I know is I saw that Fidel video. I saw the Shofu Fidel That's video. It. That, that, 3-0. Rashid, it's on the Japan Talk channel. People can go watch it. We saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hop on Shifeta right now, Aru. Hop on right now. Dude, hop on what? Tekken. Let's see what fucking no, happens, No, I don't know. Hop on Tekken. I know I'm going to lose in Tekken. No, I know I'm going to lose in Tekken. I know I'm going to lose in Tekken. Yeah, lose you will. I wouldn't, Bro, I wouldn't I challenge Tekken, it. It feels like I'm, I'm trying to control a mech. I, it's so hard. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. I can't. I feel like, see, that's like the opposite something. for me. I feel like Tekken's the easiest fighting game I've ever touched. That's, I cannot. I feel like I feel like with Tekken, uh, like, there's just no all the games are 
No, but because Tekken, like, they keep it so similar between each and every single game that if you yeah, play a character I think that's in Tekken, it. you can pick them yeah. up again and they play very similar. And they'll play the same. Yeah, you just got to figure out the See, new stuff. I, new I game, am curious if. Because I know, out. like, if, if they basically play the same, they're kind of doing the opposite of what's going on right now with Mortal Kombat, right? Because in Mortal Kombat, mm -hmm. the whole thing they're is that the characters are, like, totally new, right? I don't know. Anybody watch that movie? I watched the movie. Movie? Yeah, I mean, he, he means the uh -huh. he means the story. Man. I mean the story new game. Good. Yeah, how they no, have like no, the no. news. I'm also talking about the game, but anyone watch that movie? Yeah, the story oh. man was good. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, you gotta watch that movie. It's a good movie. Okay. Well, something worth mentioning about Tekken. Um, they announced the next open, not open, uh, closed beta test is gonna be next month on the twentieth. I know October. during TwitchCon. What the fuck is that about? You ain't gotta go to that. You good? Play Tekken. I have a panel though. Oh, that's tough. I mean. We do I have, have a panel, panel with a guy who harasses women, bro. I don't want to be what? here. What? What? Yeah, dude, they put me on a panel like with the Fidel. Fuck? They put me on a panel with Fidel. That's so crazy. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, you gotta, you gotta be more specific, though, because, like, f when you say harasses women, yeah. I think, like, bad shit. But Fidel, like, he harasses women like how a fly, like, flies what? around them. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fid Girl, you harass women. No, you harass yes, no, women. You, you harass know women. you do. You, you, know you, do. you do. Hey, tell them about how you grabbed me without my consent. Whoa. 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 That's a crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. What the fuck is going on? You should kill yourself now. <laughs> I thought that was soundboard for a second. That was damn close. Yeah, I'm good. Well, you know, but why are y'all doing anyway, this yeah, here, that's though? Like, is, so. I can keep going on and on about Raid Shadow Legend. Well, you know, you what? know what people should do in the chat. This is a good time for us to say, go ahead and head over to the WDFA shop and go mm -hmm. over and get yourself some fucking merch, man. Go ahead and buy some merch, buy some shirts, buy some hoodies. Go ahead and buy whatever it is you need. Right there's here. nothing to plug right now, though, because there's not. A I, I, I know He's... that. I'm not plugging our store because our store doesn't oh, exist. I'm plugging. I was gonna say, yeah. WDFAShop.com. So go ahead. I'm gonna put the link in the chat. Make sure you go ahead and pull, buy some merch. Go buy some hoodies. Go buy. You know what I'm saying? Go buy uh, a beanie. We got stickers now. Oh, you got stickers now? Okay, let's go. So there's a bunch of stuff there. So go ahead and purchase your stuff today. Support show. You know what I'm saying? Make sure he's able to go ahead and buy all the Waterloo he needs to sustain himself. So go ahead and y'all go do that. And appreciate y'all. And make sure okay. to go ahead and subscribe to us on Spotify if you're watching this on YouTube. Then we're done. Roger, back to you. I mean, I had nothing else to say. I was, we were in the middle of a conversation, and you plugged Wait, the show story. Over? What just happened? No. Because now I'm I'm already eating my dinner. Now I'm sitting eating my salad. What? Like, what else is there to talk about? Why is everybody here got food? Everybody's I'm, munching. We are hungry, bro. Mm hmm. Well, you guys I mean, do the podcast during dinner time. No, we do it at eight p.m. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's dinner time. Wait. No, well, 8 p.m. is not dinner time. That time. is dinner time. Do you know what I did, to, you know what I did today? I ate dinner at my parents' house at 6 p.m. and then drove home two hours, okay? So you, That's, telling you had me, time. you telling me 8 p.m. is not arguably dinner time? That's, that's no, it, good. somebody, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people eat it at 8 o'clock. That's not that late. 8 p.m. is when you're washing your dishes from dinner. No. No. See, I don't know what type of I'm life you live not. in. But the life we living over here, we don't got standard days. I'm not getting Ooh. up from my nine to five and getting home at six and eating dinner That's when I walk out. So I'm not doing that. Yes, right? sir. We're not like them, bro. Not at all, yeah, bro. You were just saying that 8 p.m. No, no, wasn't dinner no. time. What the uh, fuck? Listen, you I just don't eat. I'll eat whenever shit, I want. Bro, what the I'll fuck? eat whenever I want. That's the greater life. That's what I'm saying, bro. Greater life. If you regulate, you know the times in which you eat, it's better for your digestive tract. Mm-hmm. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gonna fuck up your metabolism eating that late. No, Wait, I, I genuinely really wanted to ask you though, Tito. Know, metabolism is fine. I, 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 I did want to ask you about that. <laughs> what did you think of party animals? What happened to party animals? Ass. I picked that up. <laughs> about. I can't hear the question. <laughs> what do you think of party animals? Chewing throughout that whole question. I said, what do you think of party animals? No, I was like, oh, okay, yeah. Um, it's very fun. Where's Mike here? Mike's here. Hey, what's it's up? Very fun. Oh, and uh, and Fidel's here, actually. He's playing. It's is very fun, what yeah. Is what kind of um, game is it? Gang Beast it, 2. It, yeah, it's Gang Beast. I don't know Gang Beast, but good. Uh, it's it Gang Beast, but good. It's a party yeah. brawler, essentially. Okay. Um, oh, so it's like like you got you like ragdoll each other? Yeah, yeah. you ragdoll yeah. each other. Yeah. Yeah. A bunch of mini games, things like that. It was really fun, so... Coney hit me up earlier in the week last week, and we uh, we got a couple squad together, and we were um, 
uh, able to participate in the Twitch Rivals launch event for uh, for Party Animals. Um, and we were able to go ahead and actually win that. So that was very cool. That was very dope. Um, Each player got seventy thousand dollars. Actually, what? Um, get out of my pocket. Really, seventy thousand dollars is a lot of money. It's public information. It is public information. When wait, wait. you won, your banner says seventy k. The only type of people who worry about money, other people got people who ain't got money themselves. Is what I'm saying. So y'all. Wait, was that okay? Was All right, that? we're both. Well, good, good reason. Good reason to do charity. Was that each? No, how did you guys split it? Ricky, how many times? I'm going to tell you the same thing here that I told you in the chat. I do not support terrorist organizations. I will not give you money. Get out of here. You should. <laughs> what? Okay. All right. All right. Give him okay. money, not support terrorist I mean, organizations. What? what? Don't do that. No, but this, don't, this, I don't no, have no. a terrorist organization. This is crazy. I said, <laughs> how can I be, how can I be a, ter how can I be a terrorist and Fidel the feds at the same time? You've got to pick one. <laughs> no, nah, you're, no, nah, you're done. With, anyway. But, yes, Roger. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought he had a question. Uh, but no, he's eating. A, okay, yeah. No, it was really, it was really fun. Um, it's a really, really cool game. It just kind of works. Um, I think it's very reasonably priced. It's a great party game. Um, it's just a really cool game uh, to to play. So if you haven't played it, check it out. Um, I, I'm having a great time. So, yeah. I know Mike. Mike. Yeah. No. We, today. We've been playing a shit out of it. Or on like on your streams. Yeah, I like it. I love this games like that. This shit's hella fun. What have you been playing, man? What's up? What have you been playing? Like, besides party animals, or just... Yeah, yeah in general. How's life uh, for Mike? Well, I got this game yesterday, or was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday, Sunday, called Bunny Graveyard. Mike, the Bunny there? Graveyard. What the fuck? Never even heard of that. No, Bunny <laughs> it's Graveyard. It's like uh, Bunny indie, indie horror kind of... Like similar to like a mascot horror type thing. Yeah, I was gonna say, it sounds like fun. Takes a lot of takes a lot of tropes from that uh, type of game. Um, I thought it was really cute. It has like really really good sprite art uh, and animation. Just like apparently all done by one person too. Like one person did all the art and the music and everything. And what? Uh, the bunny graveyard. Oh. oh. The fuck is the um, what? I never heard of this. <laughs> yeah. I think Damn. I saw it in like a Steam Next Fest type thing. I think I heard about it like a oh, month ago. Um, oh, it, yeah, yeah, it's cute. Hey, yeah. But, um, I've actually been playing Cyberpunk again. Actually, I'm uh, so sorry. I know. No, actually, that's what I oh. thought I would have said. But oh. the game is actually fantastic now. Um, yeah, it just, I heard it, it got its No Man's Sky glow up. Yes, yes. It yeah, works. it's just like it, it had such a bad launch that no one's ever going to acknowledge it anymore. Uh, so yeah. it's like, it's it's like doomed. But even if it is good, like No Man's Sky, people still like. Whenever I bring it up to people, they're like, "Oh, it's good now." It's probably gonna be like that. But yeah, keep going. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I was I was unsure, but then I was watching Co play it, and it looked really really good. So I redownloaded it because the DLC came out today, and started a new file. And I actually finished the mm -hmm. game on launch, um, even throughout all the bugs and things like that. And my run wasn't super buggy because I kind of stuck stuck to the main story so now i'm actually kind of taking my time doing a lot of sign content i wanted to do um on the Sonic first content um but it was really fun like it's i'm having a great time just kind of playing at my own pace it, it looks i know coast has been playing it as well like a shit ton um so it's it's also it's very very good is coast still here nice. no he's gone no he left, no, he left. <clears throat> not too long ago Damn. he wasn't saying oh, shit okay. so i don't know what else we got to talk about? I was going to ask uh, you guys if okay, for uh, cuz I don't know if yeah. if if uh I don't know if you guys had any ideas for the channel, but I figured it's coming soon. Uh if anyone would want to do a four player run of Amazing Mirror for the Japan Time channel, I'd be down. Mm. Mm. How long is that game? Not long. Is like could you like beat it in one stream? One or two streams probably. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. I'd be down to do that. Yeah, it's a, it's a GBA Kirby game. None of them are that long. Yeah. Small, is it already yeah. out? People are saying they're playing Amazing uh, Mirror right now. 29. 29. No, they might just be playing it for fun. That might be a fun thing to play before, because obviously, like, early October is going to be super busy. Mario Wonder, Spider-Man 2, baby. Sonic Superstars, a lot of yes, stuff coming. Yes, sir. So, yeah, that might be a fun thing to play. And they don't... Oh, has anyone else been playing Lies of P? No. 
So, oh, is that the, uh, the Pinocchio Souls The Pinocchio game? Souls yeah. game. It is really, really good. I'm on, like, the fifth major boss right now. I haven't really had time to, like, play much more because, obviously, I've been setting up the other computer and, like, doing stuff. But, dude, I, I really, 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 really like it. I feel like if you like Bloodborne at all, highly recommend it. It's great. It's, like, the best Bloodborne copy <laughs> they could have possibly made. But it's great. Good shit. I'll, I'll talk more about it once I've actually played more of it. I think that's it. Anything else? Uh, do we? There are a lot of topics. It's like, do we? Let's want go. To Let's go. I mean, we touched on most of them that were in the the topics room. Yeah, I mean, we didn't even talk about Spider Man. So, yeah, we didn't talk about the state of play at all. Yeah, we oh, we stayed on a lot of topics for a while. Go ahead. By all, yeah, talk about it. I literally didn't watch it, so please educate me. Honestly, to be fair, the whole the whole start, like, the first few games, awful. A lot of it was like you know VR stuff. Then um, the first major game, I would say that was like a decent reveal was Ghost Runner. Ghost Runner Two. Um, I don't even remember when the first Ghost Runner came out because there was a lot of trailers and hype behind that game, and then it just kind of came out, and that was that. Um, but yeah, no. The main the main games, of course, were Spider Man Two. Um, we got another pretty chunky trailer for that game. They showed off. Um, they talked about a lot of the kind of uh, improvements, uh, mechanical adjustments, stuff like that. The game just looks really, really well put together. My personal hope is that. Uh, well, I didn't play Miles Morales. Tito, do you play Miles Morales? Yes, I have played Miles as well. Yeah. Does does I that did, so game I played have Miles Morales? That game was awesome. Nice. Does that game have the same thing as the the original Insomniac, where there's a lot of kind of missions where you're not playing as Spider Man? No. Okay, no, so not at all. Not in Miles. No, because because it is a much shorter game. Like it's really just it's in Iceborne I, is my equivalent is like what I okay. like. It's like it's like Spider Man. Sure, like map expansion is a different part of New York. So if you played as another character, yeah. it, like it would take away from the game way more yeah. than the base game. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, that okay. That was that's my main thing because I'm 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 hoping that doesn't like. I'm hoping that's the case with Spider-Man 2 as well. And the the thing was though, at the the last time that you play as MJ is fun because you have the taser, but then you never play as her again. <laughs> so it's like maybe they could fix it. No, oh. I think no, I think you play. I think what will mm -hmm. happen there will be likely a section what? where you play as like as not Spider-Man, but you play there. There's like a Miles section or a Peter section where you're like doing like a bunch of bullshit like in. Oh, Scorp Tower or something. So they're they're going to do that. Some shit like oh, that. Oh, for sure. Walking around like yeah, hacking well, a computer in Oscorp okay, is yeah. for sure going to happen. Hello. It's oh, like okay. yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? But, this yeah, is unrelated, yeah. but kind of related. PlayStation got hacked today. So if you guys have any of like payment information tied to your PlayStation account, I would remove nice. it. Dope, dope, dope. Sick. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh awesome, fuck man. yeah, dude. Let's go. Yeah, man. I just wanted yeah. you guys to know. Just yeah. and in chat too. Like just remove it if yeah. you can. Okay, go, man. This morning. Put on some 2FA on that account. Fucking rob me right hackers. now. Hackers claim yeah, they've breached all no systems. Money, yeah. Hell yeah. Brother. All systems. All systems. Nice. Wait, we can get hacked at that. Oh, uh, well, fuck. That's not no, fun. The, the thing that happens is they hack them, <laughs> they get the data from there, and then they, they like, a lot of them upload all oh, their so... username and password to some to a database. Oh, I thought this was like the Nintendo thing. Oh, I thought it was like the Nintendo thing I where we're going to get a bunch up. of cool things. Joke's on them. I don't even know my password for PlayStation. Let's, let's, yes, not, <laughs> let's, let's, <laughs> that doesn't matter. Don't even know it. Let's not be alarmist. Let's not spread misinformation. They did not get your password. They can't. This time. I, mean, I literally don't know <laughs> it. Though. I'm saying even if they could, I don't know it. That happened last time Sony got hacked. Yeah. As long as they yeah. are not actual so fucking children in designing their systems, no one stores passwords. Cool. They, I think I can tell you for think, a fact Sony did. I That's think very issue. few people who were stupid enough to do it have stopped doing it now because they got shamed by the rest of the internet being like, what the hell are you doing? There's definitely a thing like 10 years ago where you would sign up for a website that just like, here's your confirmation of your login credentials and they send you your password in plain text. If that ever happened, immediately stop using that website. I don't think anyone's stupid enough to do that anymore. Everything's got two-factor now. It's not even two-factor. It's that... A website should have never been storing your actual password, and I don't. Yeah, I think anything. I think anything reasonable these days is 
is doing that. Didn't now. the E3 website? Wasn't that the whole thing that the E3 website did that, and then everyone's like, like addresses like, and stuff got leaked. That yeah, back was in like the, more, back in the day, it definitely used to be a thing that like some places would just like store your password. But it, I I think the internet has come far enough at this point that no one's doing that anymore. Cool, cool. Damn. The way password storage should work and does work in most places now is that your password basically gets run through a bunch of fucking math and then that gets stored in the database. And then when you log in, they just do that math again to your password and make sure that the two numbers that they get at the end basically line up. That's like, so they don't actually know what you started with. They just know what it should end up at when they do a whole bunch of math that can't easily be like done the other way. It's not like easily reversible math. That's like how cryptography cryptography works mm. it is math that you can do one way but is very 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 computationally difficult to, to go backwards so they just store they just store what your password looks like after they do the math and then when you enter your password again on the website they just do that math again then check if the two numbers line up so do you guys want to watch damn. a compilation i had a reaction mm. i just i literally just got what? sent this we could do a live reaction. This is 50 seconds. It's a compilation video. Oh, if you could link this up, Shofu. Of what? what? It is, uh, it's 50 <laughs> seconds nonstop of Charles Martinet swearing. Uh, <laughs> Why? I'm good. I don't know. It because... just looks funny. They linked me to it. It looks funny. I'd be down to watch this. From where? Does he from say what? fucking Mario's voice? I don't, I have no idea. It said it was from, uh, some of them hey, were from hey, the demo the... reels, some were from shows he was on. But it's 50 seconds of Charles Martinet swearing. Oh, it's not like Wait, Mario no, no, no. swearing. It's just Charles. I don't know. I haven't watched it. Yeah, it's We're just, gonna it's find just, out. Yeah, the I'm Final Horizon drops September 28th. It's just Sorry, gonna get copyrighted. Just like if it's just random shows, we can't really be showing that. What do you mean? No, that's, why would this get? That's probably fun. You can't show someone swearing on Twitch. You do it if all the time. Oh my God! Shows. Yes, that sir. Can be copywritten. It's yes, not. It's, it's a YouTube video. It's fifty seconds of a YouTube video yes, clipped out. No, it's not even tears it's, available. Bro, to you're talking to me like I don't update. react to anime as a living bro. I know. Yeah, I'm you don't show the anime. We can watch this. I understand. Right. I get it. Hey, hey get the hell away from you know what I mean? Literally my job! I don't even have the officer's body to release on September 28th. Hey, for the, hey, hey, shut up, man. Oh, oh she's sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, I didn't know you could hear me. He I thought I was talking to myself. I ain't no fucking Oh, he said bro. hell. Oh, yeah. fuck, I can't uh -oh. say hell shit. That's wild, man. Oh, they can't we say have that. the officers oh, by the tail. Or we have the officers by the balls. <laughs> oh, what in God? What the fuck is that? What is this? He said, this is he said balls. strange video, bro. Who made this shit? <laughs> what? Do you have any idea who you're dealing with? I'm a senator of the United States of America, goddammit! Deal? This is JoJo? What the hell? I didn't even know Charles Martin was in this. What did you say? You penis huh? head. So long, you fat ass pussy. Oh, come on. Honey, come on, honey. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Look at this, bitch. Bitch. bro. What? Oh, he votes not. No, you cheat. You and that pussy boyfriend. Oh, hey, get off of you, pussy. Bastard. Oh, bastard. Oh, oh, shoving on you loves your lunch box up your ass. Right. Okay. This is that was, uh, that, is a, that was uh, the worst video I've ever seen in my life. Roger, bro. Pace, you're yes, dead, bro. Sir. That Pikmin what video the is better. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's dead, but oh, that was e quite easily the dumbest video I've ever seen in my entire life. Um. Someone said they want to see a Pikmin video. We got Pikmin no. Play. I got I... This Listen, actually looks guys. good. Hold on, wait, wait. This looks really good, actually. Stop. This isn't audio a troll. Content. I'm serious. This serious content. Oh my this god. Is, no, this is actually good Pikmin content. Wait, just watch this. No. Okay. This is actually good. No, you're done. No, we gotta see I this. I don't care. No, 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 no. We gotta watch this live. It's no, really good. No, no, we don't. It's we don't. Amazing. We don't. You already, you already, you already used your one chance today, bro. And that video okay, was that's fucking fair. trash. All right. <laughs> what the fuck did I just watch? Do I get a video? No. no. Shofu, what have you been playing? Honestly, what's, I just, I want to know what's been going on in the world of Shofu the past two weeks. What have you been up to? What have you been playing? What have you been watching? I've been through hell. I made it uh -oh. there and I made it back, bro. Oh, Haven't you been playing Smite? Yeah, that's why he's been through hell. No, that's I'm why so he's been sorry. through hell. That's not what, man. Yo, nah. I'll let you know. Master rank in Street Fighter are really treating you mm -hmm. like that, bro. <laughs> oh, actually, no, that's true. I do know you've been playing Teal Mask, and you said you weren't going to, but you did. <sighs> I did play Teal You did a video on your YouTube channel. Play is a strong word. Play is a strong I'm sorry word. you played through that, bro. How'd you Who's like Teal Mask? 
Uh, or how do I say this in a not so oh god way. <laughs> oh god I would rather <laughs> there's so many things I'd rather do <laughs> than do what than play that shit ever oh my god bro Zeph bro oh, the TL I'd, I'd, DLC. Uh, personally personally what I would rather do is uh-huh. uh just like for I'm not sick or anything but I'd rather get chemotherapy than play it again. <laughs> this is crazy. Chemotherapy for sport is crazy. But he's right. <laughs> All right, shit. Bro, it's just, there's nothing. What the fuck did I do? I spent, first of all, it's like a four-hour DLC, maybe. You basically set up the plot of uh, the next DLC school uh, violent thing happening in the next DLC. Violent? Wait, what? So you, so you, so Roger, stay. so Roger, you go to this island and she's like, we don't like your kind around here. She tells you to go to the fuck racist? back where you came from. Racist? Yes, bro. I get racist? to the island. I get, look, 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 I, get the fuck I, so, out of so here, first of all, So first of all, I'm the region of the champion. Of, of, I'm the champion. Of, I said region of the champion. I'm the champion of the region. <laughs> and I go to this <laughs> island. Nobody knows who the fuck I am. So what did I even do all that shit for? What did I save the world for? They don't even know who the fuck I am. I get there. They tell me to go back where the fuck I came from. She says, if you don't want to do that, you got to beat me in a fucking Pokemon battle then, cuz. Oh, shit. And then she throws out a fucking level 60 Poochiena. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I and then, and then and then I see her brother, right? And I cuck him of his favorite Pokemon. <laughs> cuck him? He loses his That's fucking right. mind. He's obsessed, with his, he's obsessed with this Pokemon. He's over here sucking Pokemon dick every is day. It, is, it, is it the wokey dokey guy? W- wonky donkey? No, it's like like Ogre Pond. He's Ogre in Pond. love with this Pokemon. He's obsessed with it. He has a crazy obsession with this Pokemon. And Ogre Pond hops it in my Pokeball and hops into my party. And he's That's over there crazy. hating. crazy. Right. It's kind of, it is kind of crazy. So I cut them up during the Pokemon, right? <laughs> so now he's having his fucking super villain... Uh, <laughs> Fucking episodes and shit going crazy. His sister's over Pushing here. Pushing his hair back like he's Eisen. But the thing is, what the fuck did I even do? All you do in the DLC is walk around, do fucking fetch quests. You battle the legendary Pokemon. That's it. There's nothing to do at all. What did I pay for? Can I, can did you do the little? Did you do the Ursaluna Sasuke quest? No, the because by the time Shia, it was, by the time Blood it was Moon, time Ursa for me to do that, that was I was already bored out of my fucking mind, and I turned that shit off. Can, can I, ask I like the, the Ursaluna thing. It was cool. I didn't make it that far, so I can't even talk on that part. But and I want and I want a real and and I'm this is a so serious question. Which is it? Because it can only be one of the two. Is it the? Is it a? That do they actively think that what they're doing is good, or are they so incompetent? And I'm talking about the directors specifically. Because I don't think the devs holistically can be this incompetent. I think they're being told to do this. That they believe that they believe that what they're doing is of high quality. No, like, it's a third thing. I don't think it's, it's not, either one. Not yeah. one of the no, it's not. They don't care. It's, either they it's don't, neither it's one because the bag coming in no matter what. Yeah, right. yeah also, it's exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah, it's it's exactly. a DLC pack. So because it's a pack you're getting a second one that might have more. So the first one being sure they don't care. It's like the Splatoon one where like the first thing about Splatoon was like, oh, here's right, the old right. town. And that's literally or whatever. Yeah, right. It's just a skin over there. But it was like false it. advertising for Bro, this. I had no content. It was like false right. advertising for this DLC though. I mean, to be like, fair. They, they made it seem I, like it was going to be a big festival. And then, to, yeah. To be fair, but, but, but here's what I, I did stream it twice and I enjoyed it when I played, but I enjoyed it because no, that, we no, were like it, making fun of it. Like it was like, not, not making fun of yeah. it, but like making our own game. Like, like when we, when I played through it, we I vibing. literally started from scratch. Yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna catch all grass Pokemon because the ones I wanted to play were grass. We're just gonna play through Mono Team. We're gonna do some raids or whatever, and we'll it was just fun. Just vibing with it. No, in Teal Mask. Yeah, yeah. But, he, yeah. But here's my thing, right? I, and just even like I'm talking about from a logical standpoint. This is where I'm trying to see it. Okay, they want to make money. They are a business. So if that's the pretense, right? If that's the if that's the premise that they are their business, a for profit mm-hmm. business that they want to make money. If that's the pro- if that's the premise, mm-hmm. right? That means they care about making money, right? Okay, so lo- so logically those okay. two things have to make sense. Therefore, if what they're doing is they are theoretically doing a thing that thinks is going to make them the most money, like them not caring about the quality. They're makes no already sense maxing. They care- no, 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 no. That's not how that works. 
Okay? Because if it's, it's because be the whole product is not devoid of, of quality, bro. The Pokemon themselves are the quality. The way they look in the game, fuck that. But do you see this, this conceptually? No, True FPS <laughs> which, stuff, which, right. Which brings, it, which brings it back to what I was saying before. Then it has to be an intentional choice. It's not that they don't... I don't, I don't think it's that they don't care. I think they think, hey... This is the things that they're prioritizing, the things that they think make them the most money. I think that they look at last year's sales and they say, do it again. (laughs) Right. That's what I'm saying. saying. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And I I think the other thing about this that people don't really understand when it comes to the Pokemon stuff, or, or at least they're like not aware of it. One, I do think part of it is that they don't care, that they're making a lot of money anyway. They're selling it and they just want to make more of that. But two... Game Freak has two development teams. There's two development teams that are always working on stuff. There's the Pokemon team, and then there's the second main development team that works on, like, all of the weird test kind of games, like Tembo the Elephant, or, like, they do the Pocket Jockey games, or they do... Like, they've done a bunch of other stuff. And they're constantly trying to make a game that... Literally, they've said this. The goal of this team at Game Freak is to make a game that is as successful or more successful than Pokemon. They are never going to be able to do that. But the people who work on Pokemon are burnt out on working on Pokemon. So they go, the people who are like the actual, like good developers go, we are going over to the second team at Game Freak to make whatever we want to make once a year, our little indie game type thing. And they upload that and they do that. That team is off doing their own thing while the team that's still cranking out Pokemon games pressed for time (laughs) because they're releasing them every year, multiple games a year. There's literally no reason to do it. Like, I think had they waited an additional year for Scarlet and Violet or just done one generation, I agree, Aru. They would have been fine. They're fine right, either way, though. What, 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 what is what have been problem, fine? Huh? They get the bag regardless. What's what have been well, fine? Of course. What are you, what are you laughing mean, about? No, I'm saying what would have been I'm, I'm saying what they would have done. Wait, what are you doing? Hey, what the fuck y'all doing she, up there? I know he's he just started bothering me out of nowhere. I was wondering why you were missing. Why are you doing this over our conversation? Like, you were giggling over you Roger. I was you, not. You, you were calling why are Roger a bum. Y'all, y'all, I literally <laughs> was minding my own fucking no, business. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. You, you, the no. type of students that I would fucking kick out of my class right the what? fuck now. What? Didn't do anything. Didn't do anything. Here's the thing. Here's here's the problem. Here's the problem because Fidel is so is so fucking. It's such a zoomer. He can't contain oh, yeah, himself that's true. by by that's being. True. And Aru is true. such an antagonist. She can't help but <laughs> yeah. but engage. I need my own business. No, but what I'm saying is, as soon as he engages with you, you can't help yourself. Yourself. You have to respond. Yeah, okay. mm-hmm. both of your faults. So get the fuck Anybody. out of class. Both of y'all get the fuck out. <laughs> Wait, but what is he doing? I don't. What is he doing? He's being a what? goober. Roger, yeah. I've never done anything. Roger. No, Roger. Roger, Roger, no, Roger, no, no, Roger, no. Roger, Stop Roger. Stop interrupting me. Stop. You're right Stop, you're it. Interrupting, Stop women. interrupting me. Stop. <laughs> I was sitting there minding my own business. I'm doing my makeup, right? I'm putting my blush on while you're talking and listening, okay? And then all of a sudden mm. he goes, Oh, yeah, Aru. I bet. Uh, yeah, yeah. What are you thinking, Aru? What are you thinking, Aru? And I ignore no, him. And he that's keeps so going. Wrong. He no, keeps no, no, going. No, 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 no. No. Roger is talking and your purpose is going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who, so who like, heard, okay. Nobody heard that. Nobody even heard me do that. I heard it. So Yo, we should do a contest right now. Whoever can hold their breath the longest wins. Let's go. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's real funny. It's real funny when we all let the fucking freak harass the only woman in this what? call. That's, that's when it's funny, right, guys? Okay, I thought you would not harass you. You are harassing me. You are. Yeah, that's really crazy considering that. We got on like like we really like come on. If anything, y'all harassing me. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, why are you saying yes, sir? You're one of the two that's harassing. Exactly. Why are you saying yes, sir? To what? No, no. Because if it's Shovu, it's okay. What? What do you mean? Let's go, Ricky. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Personally, Shovu, the next time I see him, I would knock him the fuck out. Shovu, listen. Listen. No, I'm sorry. I don't even think you're trying to summon demons, bro. I think it should be taken seriously, Shovu. You knock him out. You knock him out. Okay, wait, wait. Pause, 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 pause. Ricky, what the fuck are you doing? 
He's praying. Ricky, Ricky, what you need to do is you need to not get it. Ricky, Ricky, you need to not get it. Ricky casting a domain extension. Ricky's doing some like dark art shit. He's back there. Someone said it's the curse of Raw. Ricky's back there reading the fucking transcription to the winged dragon of Raw. What the fuck is he doing? Like <laughs> 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 That was pretty good. Next time I just had time, I won't be in there. time, we're done. It's over. It's over like strategies. I'm done with all of you, bro. It's over. We're done. This is the last episode. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of it. I'm sick, sick of all of this. I'm sick of this screaming. I'm sitting over trying to explain things. I'm sick of exactly. it, bro. I'm getting up. I'm getting up. I'm hot. We were making it start. You guys are standing. Be happy that you got those You're standing, everybody. You let them know, Roger. Bro. I'm telling the last. Finally, someone's I'm getting, speaking I'm up. I'm getting out of here, bro. I'm done. It's over. No yeah, more Japan. Me night. too. No I'm, more Japan. You're not time. even invited. You're a guest. You're not coming back. Oh you're already my gone. God. All right. <laughs> oh <laughs> my God. Roger, Roger, Roger. If you're going I'm to finished. express that rage and anger, you have to do it with your chest, right? You have no to more. Really... It is, I got it with my chest, bro. No more. It's, it's, it's gotta be. Ah, you're gonna be, gonna be conveyed with more ferocity. Yeah, you're gonna be like, you gotta really grunt oh. all it out. Wait, you know? oh, Roger, wait. You're taking I'm things a little too far. You're taking things a little too far now. Oh, oh no, come on, Jimmy. What's crazy is that this whole thing can be traced back to Fidel, but Roger is the reason Fidel's even here. So really, exactly. Don't even say that. At the end of the day, I am not the reason. And Fidel is here. Okay, you invited yeah. Fidel. Okay, who's your best friend? Who invited Fidel? Whoa, 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 you literally oh, talk to him every say. single day. What are you talking about? And you see. Roger, are you talking to Chofu? Bye. Yeah. Oh, Tito's I didn't know he's Fidel. Tito and Fidel he's literally sleeping. do drinks every oh night. Oh my God, he's sleeping. Oh my yeah. God. She's like, 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 what do you get from Oh my God, God he's sleeping. Oh my God, 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 he's sleeping. I just want to know what you get from that. Does it make you feel better? Like, I don't understand what, what you get from lying. Chofu and I are our besties, the fuck? Not you, bitch! <laughs> no. It's not, we're no. People are always talking to you. Ah, oh, Tito, why are you mad, These bro? They're best friends. <laughs> it's, it's being proven yeah. right now. They're best friends. Jesus <laughs> fucking Tito Christ. Tito and Fidel are best friends. <laughs> it's really Ricky's fault. It just happens every week. And it's just... I just it's, don't think Fidel should be here. Oh. But every... See, the problem is... We say that, and we say it with love, and we say it with jest, because Fidel is an actual friend of Shofu and I. Everyone on the show except for Tito, apparently, and, and you, Aru. But Yay. the thing is, that comes mm. up time and time again. Every time we upload these episodes, people go, stop being mean to Fidel, stop the courtroom bits, blah, 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 they're not funny, blah, blah, right. blah. And right. every week, and we do it every week anyway, and we always talk about Sonic, and we always do the courtroom bits, and we always are mean to Fidel, we're always mean to McDareth every time. It happens. So people right. telling us to stop, stop watching the show, bro. This is the show. This is the show. <laughs> this is what it is. This is what you signed up for. You signed up for this. You signed up for Tito and Fidel. <laughs> or like that. Why do you sign up for Tito? Why are you saying that? Like you signed up for this. You signed up for Tito. You signed up for Tito. Let him know. That's so funny. He said that was such a signed up for Tito. Everything. Down with Fidel, shove him in a suitcase, throw him in the river. Whoa! What? <laughs> what? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta come over there with these suitcases, Larry. That's it. Not man. enough. The feds are going to. We already. Uh, there's Ricky no Gokang more suitcases. Gonna leave the investigation with his police ass. They're Post gone. Shut the fuck up. You know, just Ricky, hearing the angle. I told him that. I don't know Ricky. I swear, just wait till next episode. Ricky, 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 oh my gosh, just wait. Ricky, what were you saying earlier? What were you saying earlier, Ricky? You said you had a tribute. 
Don't, wait, I, don't, wait, I don't even want to know wait. what that is. See, I don't even, we're so yeah, far in the show, I don't want to know what that is. When someone I'll says, I want a tribute, I don't want to know what this is. I don't, I, my hands are up. I don't want to hear anything Thank about you, this. Zaf. Thank you, Zaf. Wait, I don't did, want Ricky, did Ricky really go to jail? Yes. 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 Oh, that's About awesome. He was there for what? three years. No, he was running the jail with his police ass. He's a, he's a guard. He's the warden. He's a fed. It's true. Oh, All cops are Ricky. Ass. You guys never heard this? Oh, Baron Zemo. What? Why did he run what? away? Oh. He's a bitch. That's all he knows. Ricky didn't run away. Ricky's still here. Oh, no, he's not. No, he left the call, bro. No, he left. He's literally here. Right, he's standing right next to me. Oh. Standing, huh? no. Hey, Roger, what's up? It's me. Yeah. What the fuck? That's Ooh, your best that's Ricky impression? Your, that's that's Ricky? That's I feel like if I, I, feel like if I tell you, no, you should be embarrassed. Yeah, I should actually be embarrassed about it. I get yeah. second-handed yeah, no, don't worry, I got him out. Don't worry, I got him out. I got him out of here. Don't worry. Other than that, he'd be, going, he'd be getting, oh, no. he'd be getting oh, no. like, killed. Is that your join sound? <laughs> yeah, of course. You're a sicko. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. You really My mom was. You really... You really are Shofu's number one fan. I get it. Yeah, it's sad. God, these are the fucking God. Jeez, Next fun. week, guys, Fidel versus Shofu live at Shofu. We're not doing that. I'm telling you right now, two weeks from now, we're not doing that. It's Wait, not no, happen. Roger, why? Roger, why not? No, no, Roger, I will be at Shofu's. We got other content. We're doing other things. We're not going to be doing that. We're not doing another Street Fighter thing. Fidel, you already lost. No, 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 I mean, I mean, I mean no, in LA, no, I will no. go to LA. Fidel, sit down and listen to Vera. How, how can you be Shofu's number one fan if you don't have his longest up? Ah, yeah, that's, that's, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's over there. It's pretty valid. It's pretty Taiwan. valid. Mm. Wait, are you still well, coming guys. to LA for that Sonic Symphony? Yes, thing? I'm literally. Well, you're not staying in my house anymore. I've decided. Oh uh, fuck. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so you better find out where you're gonna stay. All right. Uh, shit. I got it. I got it. I know a Holiday Inn down the street. You can't oh, afford sure. that. You yeah. can afford it, Mister Seventy K Winner Champion. Yes, sir. <laughs> He got money, money. Oh, so he got yeah, money. He's gonna make fun of me. He's gonna make fun of me. You know, trying to find something to talk about while all this is happening. Uh, Vera, I mean, what were your impressions? The show's over. We're done. The show is over. Fast. We just brought it up. What were your impressions of the, the show. Sonic Symphony? It was. Oh, nothing. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I don't know. Oh, shit. I think it's cool. I'm just saying, I don't want to. You're me because I was the one that saw it. Yo, it feels like I had schizophrenia. At a stream, and so it's like really nice. But yeah, no, it was. It was. Okay. Are you? Good luck, Aru. Have fun. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Yeah, thanks Thank for you. inviting me. Thank Any you. Time. I hope you guys have a good night. You as well. I thought it was. Not anymore. I was. I... You... Why do you do to say mean things to me? Who said mean things to you? <laughs> Roger. Stop Roger. being mean to me. What the fuck did I do? I didn't say anything. Yeah, I said I hope you have a good night and you said you were. I said I was, yeah. Yeah, you was past tense. No, you're having a good night now. Well, no. Why does that mean? It is. Everyone's having a good night. I'm leaving. Enjoy the because. And oh my god. Did I forget how to speak English? Thank you, my friend. I won't let you talk to my friend like that. Fuck out of here. You know I appreciate that. This show's over. This show's over. Both y'all. Thank you very much. This show's over. Wait, 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 wait. After Virum talks, because he's important. Bye, goodbye, goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye, all right. Yeah, no, the Sonic Symphony was fantastic. Um, if you obviously there was the one a couple years ago, uh, the online one, which was also really good. <clears throat> this one I would say was even better. It had even more tracks. Obviously, has Frontiers music in it. Um, I won't go too much into it because obviously, um, for anyone who is going to see it at one of the many locations that it's at, people are probably going to want it, it there to be a surprise. Um, I know the LA one has, um, which, th which this was one of the things that the London one didn't have. I know that uh, the lead singer for Crush 40 is going to be there, John. Oh, that'll be cool. Yeah, uh, Johnny, what's his name again? Gioli, something like that. That's the one, that Johnny Gioli, yeah. He's going to be there. Um, the London one had Otani and uh, Jin Sano on the Jin Sano on the guitars, which was really cool to have them there. It was cool seeing them perform live. And yeah, overall, it was a it was a fantastic time. They had a. Did a you have any particular? Uh, was there a particular track that you were like, "Oh, they really remixed this amazingly"? Like it sounded so cool with an orchestra. Um. Hmm. I think because the ones that I think of immediately are like you know the classical tracks from the older Sonic games that they also had in the um, 
symphony from a couple of years ago and they sounded just as good the main thing that they did add was again they added some frontiers music to the symphonic section as well which i think um they handled really well there was a particular track in that kind of frontiers medley i'll call it which i wasn't expecting them to remix but i think they did a really nice job and i'll keep it again i'll keep it like non-spoiler i'll keep it a secret but it's definitely a track i wasn't expecting and it sounded really good right on one thing i liked because i'm going to be going to the uh the one in december in i think it's in houston it's on the river walk austin i think it is so then texas i saw some of the clips of it and like thinking about oh it's, it's a, like a symphony when you like wear like you know dress up or something it's like you no, know, it's like a big concert no, no, no. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah yeah there's gonna be people who are gonna be dressed up in sonic outfits i'm Yo, sure is this still part of the yeah. show i don't know that... what's going on anymore oh it was just i'm well mcdareth asked me about the sonic symphony but is this part happened. of the show oh yeah. yeah this is part of the show of course okay yes. I, like, I legit didn't know what was happening for the last 30 minutes so oh no 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 this is no this is all part of the show of course okay this is all, all right content. We always do a bit where we cancel the show every show. Of course. No, it's just that uh, <laughs> it, the not that it was just um, we all just started like screaming. So that's usually <laughs> that's usually the outro. Happens. You're right. I mean that you you know you were on the show for ten years regularly. So yeah, 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 I know. I'm just yeah. It's usually how we it's end the show. Funny He's right. To imagine somebody listening to this like, <laughs> in a college library. Like while they're like Someone trying to drive to work and just fucking <laughs> crashes because they're <laughs> like, screaming. Like, like they're studying finals of their midterm, and they're like, "Oh, just pop on the Japan Time podcast." Well, I study. Um, I'm a bio major. I'm so, and it's just yelling in their ear. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you exactly love exactly the folks. kind of the kind of noise I need to concentrate on my. Ah, <laughs> uh, exactly. yes, the soothing Bro, sound for an hour. Ricky's microphone. <laughs> That's just what I the need. The soothing to tones of uh, Fidel going, yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. It's funny. And we obviously we will be back in two weeks. Um, the only thing is I think we'll be right. We'll be back right before all the games come out. It'll be right before Spider-Man, right before Mario. Um, so I don't know if there's going to be a ton to talk about in the next show. Oh, yes, but there's, there's a I good amount one... of stuff that happened that we didn't talk about now. We could just save. Well, there's one big thing. I'm saving. I'm saving for the next one. There's one big I wanna, thing. I want to like... say something. Oh, go ahead. So um, I'm going to keep it short and not bog down this, but I've okay. been like fixing shit uh, in my life and things are better as I'm sure you can tell by how I'm acting on right the show. On. Um, so pretend, I don't want to say anything right now and can be stupid and make people happy, oh. but I might more than likely will be able to just regularly start showing up again. Woo! Because Let's go. I don't feel like sludge Woo! anymore. Just uh, attend at your own pace, bro. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. never, we're never going to force you to come. You, you but I'm just saying. Yeah, I can, of course I'm not. Just, come on yeah, when you want to come on. That's how it works, man. Yeah. Hey, yo. Happy to hear you're doing better. What is wrong with you? Yo. What is wrong with you? Oh, no. You couldn't, you, you couldn't resist. Yo. You couldn't resist. You're a, it's a sickness you have. You that need is, medical right. attention. See, and that's, that's where we had the show. This is like the actual end of the show now. This is, this is it. That was it. That was the end. Good night, everybody. We'll see you in two weeks. Goodbye, everybody. Good night, everyone. Sick fuck. Take care, everyone. You're a sick fuck. Why am I a sick one?